Nostalgic. Welcome to the show. Hi guys, welcome to the show. Today we do bring your tactics. Yes, um, I haven't felt the need to do bring your tactics for a while because uh, we released the total tactics tester. The link to that is in the description of this video. Uh, essentially, it gives you a chance. I mean, I created the safe for people who wanted to check their tactics out, right? So all you got to do is take your tactic, put it to the total tactics tester. 15 minutes later, depending on how good your rig is. I mean, for the average rig, it should take about 15 minutes. Um, season is done. Then you go have a look at your tactic and see how it's done. And basically, if your tactic is any good, it should win. Um, it should do well in the underdog league. It should do well in the average league, right? And then you will see how your tactic stacks up in an average, in any league, when you look at the average leagues, because that's the... Uh, leagues, uh, 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 what a dispersion of a league would be like, you know, um, in normal circumstances. Like, so if you're in Serie A, you should uh, finish in the top two. And if you're England, you should finish in the top two, right? If your tactic is any good. Uh, if it's very good, that is. Um, naturally, um, it probably works for some of you. It doesn't work for some of you. Uh, the link to uh, pop in the tactic is in the chat. I'm just gonna start the game. Um, I have to load a game though. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I have to find a game. Because <laughs> we did it with uh, another team, right? I mean, I could use it with the tactics tester itself. Yeah, well, we can use it with the tactics tester. So it's, uh, I'll just load the tactics tester in and then we'll play a couple of games with that um, within um, within I mean, should I use a tactics tester or should I just use some random you know, I think I'll yeah I'll, we'll use a tactics tester at least then if you guys want to test out your own tactics it's fairly easy to do it with that uh, tool um, the reason why we've created that tool is simply to make it easier for you guys right I mean there's nothing in the game right now that tells you how good your tactic is unless you play you win the title nothing right <laughs> um, I've I know quite a few people are using this tool right now and yeah. Yeah, it's a good yeah, I know. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we do this as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this and uh, I'm gonna download a couple of tactics. I I mean I'm still on the big um welcome screen, right? So I'm just gonna download I mean I Rondo from Discord, you sent me three tactics, man. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick one, okay? I'm gonna pick one. Uh normally I won't cover all three tactics. Right, I'll just pick one. Um, let me just move that. Um, that copy this and then I'll put it into tactics. There must be one BYT folder. Oh, I don't have a BYT folder. See, that's the thing, right? If I keep making new folders, too many tactics in my uh, drive, and you know what happens, right? The games always crash. Okay, I tell you what, we won't use, we'll use the tact, I'll use the total tactics tester very quickly. Now, links are in the chat as well for you if you want to um, pop in a tactic. Yeah. Okay, so, no, no, that's game saves. Uh, let's see now, where is my folder for FM22? There we go. Tactics, uh, BYT is here. Okay, this is the one. Okay, this is your tactic. 4312 experimental system. Ah, it's interesting. Okay, what have we got schedule wise? Okay, we already got one game against Real Madrid coming up. Oh, that's gonna be fun, man. Which league am I in? I mean the elite league. No, no, no. Let's go to the average league. That's too much stress. Okay. We'll just go into the average league. Okay, elite league, all the teams are good, right? So if you go in there and you create a tactic for the elite league, what's gonna happen is you gotta quickly find out uh, that you need a different version against top sides. Okay, that's it. Uh, I, I'll be very direct with you. So you need a really, you need to have a, given it a lot of thought. Like I have a 4 one 3 2 that's very good. It wins all, it's won all the leagues already. Okay. Um, I've got 4 3 one 2 that's won all the four leagues as well. But 
it's a very uh i, I had to think about it long and hard i have set up the opposition structures you know specifically think about certain players that are playing in the system uh okay so we've got this tactic i'm um, just gonna check the public folder oh we already got two tactics coming in okay we'll get to your tactics too soon so we'll let's let's take a look at this right so we've got um this tactic um let's see if you got any pis okay interesting no pis all right okay short passing roll it out distribute the fullbacks okay when you okay rolling it out is actually very safe that's true um but you're rolling it out to the fullbacks wing back on attack and fullback on attack you think the fullbacks are good do you think this guy's got a good way i mean it would, won't always happen that's what i'm trying to say okay so you might want to think about um okay wait, we're gonna have to holiday mode the other managers hold on let me just go to this manager give this tactic to the manager okay uh, ask give the holiday to um i don't know choose maybe 17 okay all right you holiday under the 17 uh we've got this next manager will go in here to load the tactic and we'll give ask him to holiday mode to um same day it's gonna take us some time right we've got to do all of them okay and then we'll ask him to holiday to 17 okay then we've got this manager we'll do give him the same tactic I like to keep my tactics separate, you know. So I have a, I have one where I test tactics, so it's a separate folder altogether. Okay, so we've got to ask him to holiday using this tactic for the 17. I wonder if we can see how they've done. All right, okay. So they all holiday. While well, they all the holiday, we'll just do this. Uh, we'll do this. Anything. Yes, yeah, trust me. All that stuff hardly impacts the game, man. Go on holiday until the next match so we'll let them holiday until this match against last week so we're gonna try this tactic out right now and see how it performs against this team okay all right so okay when i look at this tactic this wing is gonna bomb okay, so we have to look at his traits uh let's change the skin to tato you gotta when you choose roles um most important thing is to understand what these boys will do right when you get the you're giving them the role so 15 acceleration agility not too bad yeah he, he'll his dribbling is only 11. he's gonna have to dribble with the ball when he's a wing back okay so um put in a very brave person can he shift balance is pretty okay all right he might be able to get out of trouble and then he has good uh, he's got decent passing so that's not too bad so yeah, we could play him as a wing back. And then we got Mario Rui here playing as a fullback. He's a roaming playmaker. I, I get what you're trying to do here. Okay. You're underlapping on the right. So what okay. When you do an underlap on the right, the widest player holds up the ball looking for players making inside runs. So you got a CM on attack making an inside run. So what will happen to the wing back somewhere around this point? He's she's gonna check his run and look inside. Is that what you really want? So, if that's your plan, because you, whenever you do stuff like this, you gotta ask yourself, what are my players gonna do when they have the ball, right? Okay, so you might struggle, right, to create chances. I uh, see him on attack going this way, wing back on attack. This flank needs a very good defender. Okay, so we've got anticipation 14, positioning 16. Um, okay, concentration a bit low. So balls over the top, you know, you know, sometimes you see the match engine, the ball comes over the top and the defender totally misses it. He's going to totally miss it. So we can't play with him. All right. So this defender is out. So we put in this defender. Okay. What does he have? He's got, he's not as fast. Um, he's got anticipation 15, positioning 14, concentration 14. Okay. Maybe he'll do a better job. Right. So, okay. So we'll put him there. Because we don't want those balls over the top, right? I mean, you can adjust, you can... There are two ways. First, you don't use the offside trap. Secondly, you have a, you have a standard defensive line. Okay, all right. So let's see what happens now. We'll watch the... We'll play the game and see what happens. 
Hey, welcome to the to all those guys who are here for the first time. Welcome to the show. Well, actually, you're playing live. We share what we in saying live, but watched a lot of your videos, and I say I am enjoying them so much. Oh man, thanks, Mr. Popsa. I'm glad you enjoyed. Oh, there's going to be a new show today, man, coming up. It's a talk show. Me and Tony, we talk about football manager, what we like about the game, what we dislike about the game, and we talk about the future. I mean, this show is we we haven't really settled on where the show is going to go yet. <laughs> More like. Two guys just spitting the breeze talking about the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, we will definitely be playing live against each other, but you'll be able to see on one show what both of us are doing. Yeah, that's my plan. It's a bit of a technical stuff that I have to sort out, yeah, but that's a long-term plan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Excuse the... I, I, I've, I know sometimes I rub my nose and I cough a lot, right? It's because I'm asthmatic and I have allergies. So it's like a double whammy for me. So occasionally I end up doing that. So please excuse me. As I'm not trying to be rude, but yeah, man, I wish I didn't have that. <laughs> I didn't. I wish I did, I did have those issues. But I do. Okay. All right. We we'll watch this on extended. We're gonna switch to 2D classic. Get. Okay? We're gonna use this, and then we're gonna use the. Uh, hey, I made a witch. How are you, man? Long time no see. Welcome back. We okay, use this because we need to see on 2D. Because the in the when you're not sure about your tactics, two D is a very good place to go to because it gives you an understanding of the spatial relationships between players. Now, okay, I'm gonna very quickly explain certain things here because, uh, okay, all right. When you choose these settings, this setting, what does it mean? Okay, basically, when it comes to width, you only have to worry about it being narrow or wide and standard. There are these three settings. Everything in between, everything on the extreme, don't worry about it, okay? When you play narrow, you're basically telling your players to look inside for their first pass, okay? You're basically telling players to come closer together and pass inside. When you tell them to go standard, it's 50-50. They look inside or they look outside. When you play wide, you're telling them priority, get the ball out to the flanks, use the flanks a bit more, all right? And you might see your players position slightly more. So this is important to understand. The second thing, you have to look at your roles. Because some roles are going to use width a lot more effectively than other roles. Wingbacks use width brilliantly because they love to run the lines. They love to play wider. So wingbacks use those kind of width, higher width settings very well. Then you've got to look at your overall shape and what you're trying to do with it, right? So if you've got players and you're expecting transitions to happen, like you, you want this quick switch of play from one side of the pitch to the other side of the pitch. Playing on very narrow doesn't really help you unless you go in and specifically tell players to play direct. So I hope that helps you guys out. I should do a team instructions video again. <laughs> I did one, but my team instructions video from FM7, is it 19? Right, it's still valid, except for maybe the focus play. Right. This is the only reason why I haven't done it. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, the boys are away. So what I'm looking for is, right, so they go inside, they go outside, we look at the boys, the fullback. Okay, what is this guy doing? Staying wider, okay? Cool, what does he do? Stays wider, okay? But this stay wider like that on its own is okay, but the fullback went for the cross. Okay, all right. Now, if we give him a whole position, I don't know if you saw my latest video about wingbacks and fullbacks and giving them the whole position PI. If he holds the position, then he will stay wide and check, right? But this fullback is too far behind, so it's not really going to help you very much. So you you are better off um, being a bit more aggressive on that flank. But fullback, yep. Nothing wrong. Transition here. Look at this, right? So fullback attack. Inverter winger is staying wide. Uh, fullback on attack is going to be 50-50, right? He's a 50-50 year old. But here, he's not driving down the flanks. You're not getting um, an option here. So you've got these two guys looking for options to release players here. Okay. All right. At the moment, it's not very nice. <laughs> okay. You're getting, you're getting them getting inside the box, but you got nobody to you know, hook the ball to, right? Muriel, the Lorenzo, wing back. He's on his own. Tonali goes wide. Nice. Mario Rui again. What's he going to do? Pull back on attack. They don't take risks. Yeah, they pass the ball back. Okay, Fabian. Nice ball. Fabian is a brilliant role. Uh, uh, brilliant player. So he's going to try those. Why does he do that? Look at this. 
Because Fabian is a D, right? But he has a trait. I think he has no, he has no traits. He has no traits. Okay, fine. I thought he had traits. No, this is odd. Okay. He has no traits. Okay. He's got passing vision, decisions, and flair. So he tried one of those here you know, passes, right? Yeah. So it's important to remember that your players play to their attributes, right? So if the attributes suggest that he's got a good pass on him occasionally, that Fabian pass that we saw just happened, it happened. So it's very important right now for me, right? If I was playing this game, I'm more interested in one thing. It's called, what the heck are we doing with the ball, right? I want to see our transitions. Why, why, why is this so on? I don't know, uh, positional heat map will be fine. Okay, we got the two positional heat maps. We got this, okay, fine. Okay, so, I mean, 15 minutes in still, uh, we're not gonna look at set pieces. Okay, again, post white, hangs on to the ball, player goes through, Tonali is in, CM on attack, right? Have you noticed one thing? We have not had one single transition featuring the wing bank on the right flank. Right, not one. Yeah. I mean, if we've gotten a goal, that's not too bad. But I haven't got a single transition between the guy and the right wing. Yeah. And our first goal has come from a set piece. Yeah. Why? Why don't we do something a bit more different? Okay. Um. All right. We'll do something different. Okay. I'm gonna change the tactics slightly. Okay, we're gonna swap these two guys around. We're gonna ask him to be a deep line forward so on attack here. I mean, you can actually ask him to be a pressing forward on attack. He keeps uh, he keeps the defenders occupied. This guy's gonna move into the channels. When this happens, he goes wide as well. Right? Okay. Here, okay, we'll swap them around. Uh, OC man, no traits as well. This is very strange, man. Okay, we got no traits on any of these players. Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think uh, SNG remove all the traits, okay? No traits, okay, fine. Yeah, this will be fun. Okay. All right, so we got Tonali, Muriel, Osimen, Zielinski. Mm. Mm. Tonali. Tonali's got, pa okay, passing vision decisions. Zielinski has got, he can be a roaming playmaker. Yeah. Uh, 17, 16, he doesn't need to come back and tackle. Okay, what we're going to do is, I'm going to swap them around. I'm going to put him here. I'm going to put Zielinski here. I'm going to ask him to be a fullback on attack. I'm going to ask this guy to be a wingback on attack. Slightly different now. Okay. You're going to get this guy to launch. Occasionally, this guy is staying wide. This guy might come in through the middle, right? So, what I'm going to tell this guy to do, stay wider. What I'm going to tell this guy to do, is sit narrower. Okay. So, I get this guy... In this position, I get this guy going around him, right? So we can get one player giving us with. Together, I'm hoping to see these two guys, you know, hammer balls to this side of the pitch. Okay, we got full back attack, game attack, uh, advanced forward attack. This might fail miserably. Okay, remove this. I'm gonna remove this. I'm also gonna encourage them to go a bit wider. Yeah, higher tempo and wider because I mean I've got these guys out wide and I got these guys going this way so why would I want to you know take not do that right so I want to use the width of the pitch a bit more now here with this guy we're gonna ask him to go direct take more risk cross some deep okay done okay so what I have this guy doing is I want him to you know ping balls this way so these two guys are gonna both ping balls okay hey, this this could this could be a catastrophic failure Okay, but we'll see. We only know after we try. Yeah, team instructions, right? I did that long time ago, man. I love team instructions. I love I love messing with team instructions a lot. Especially the overlap underlap. It's um and focus play. Some of my favorites. Okay, there we go. Okay, now what am I looking for? See this? These guys here. I'm getting my width from these guys. Okay. Muriel goes forward. And right, now as we go into the box, it's a different story. Insignia now, direct passes, plays it back to Rui. Rui is a fullback on attack, right? No? Oh, sorry, wing back. He drives at the back line. Tonali comes in. OC man is out wide. Okay, not too bad. Is it a good idea to play focus play? You don't need to in this particular sense because you already got uh, rolls more to that side of the pitch. You don't need to ask them to come closer. They're already close enough already. 
Because then we're going to get a lot of congestion. If you have to remember, focus play brings players closer together. I don't want that. Now already we have that problem, so let's just not uh, do that, right? So that might be a problem. If there's anywhere our focus play is actually on the right, because there we could do with uh, players moving to the right a bit more. As you can see, right? Oh, there we go. Zielinski. Now we have a very fast transition, right? Okay. So the problem with the earlier one was there was not enough of um, there were not enough options. Like we are we are taking our time to build play up. Now at least we we're doing it a lot more aggressively. So all we did was, okay, we increased the width, right? So we're using the flanks a bit more. Okay. Now this roll it out. Yeah, it's okay, right? Uh, you can throw it long as well. You can distribute to center back. So if I do this instruction here, right, with play out of defense, right? What will happen is these two, some of these defenders will drop a bit deeper. It stretches the defense. So if I'm playing against a team that is um, pressing me really high up the pitch. I actually like to do this. When they're pressing me. So I played out from the back, but I tell the keeper to throw it to the fullback. So as they press me, I release the fullbacks. Right, so... Something that you you can do in the game. Or if you're very comfortable, you've got very good defenders, um, you can do... Uh, play out from defense and tell him to roll it out to the two ball playing defenders okay so now okay remember when you're defending your attacking width is not important right what's more important is your uh, when you have the ball you're attacking with so okay so far defensively how are we doing so i'm looking at the positioning they take up okay goes long there we go that's not too bad okay so he's holding his position again no problems. Okay, our defender comes in. Now let's see what has happened. The support play on the right, and then we release the striker on them. This is what we want to see. Okay, I'll just show it to you one more time. This tells me my transition is spot on. Okay. This is what we're trying to do without a focus play. See, we changed him to a wing back, right? Because we need him to be a bit more aggressive. Because if he's more aggressive on this side of the pitch, we can release this player. So he's going to run the channel between these two. Or he's going to go between these two. This pressing forward is always going to have the attention of this central defender. It means that we have occupied this central defender and we're giving this player, uh, he's going to attack the channel. Now, you could either play him as a poacher as well, but poacher, he's going to play the pass backwards. So because the players are so far behind, you don't want a poacher. You want somebody who's going to go off on his own. An advanced forward is a very good choice. A pressing forward is another very good choice. The worst choices are going to be DLF. Target uh, DLF. Complete forward is also not a very good choice. So watch this, right? This is a natural. We don't have to add focus. To the one who asked me about focus play, you don't have to add focus play now. You see this? All the players have shifted because we are duties, right? This guy has moved to the left to receive the ball and look at where he is right now. So because we... Why did we go... Why did we go for pressing forward? It's going to be closer to the defender instead of a DLF on attack. DLF is, might be dropping a bit too deep. So because he's a pressing forward, he's also got risky passes on. So he plays the pass that we want. So this is exactly the transition that we were after and we got it, right? So this is the transition I was after when I planned it. Where we change your roles and duties around. So yeah, it's looking a lot more interesting. And we're using width a lot more. See that? You see? See what happens when you play on a wider width? Now we're stretching the play. See what's happened here? So when you play on wider width settings, you, if you play on like shorter passing, you might run the risk of, hey, you know, uh, you, 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 you give up possession of the ball. So Tonali out to Insignia. He's inverted winger. He's staying wide. And then he does that. Again. So... We are running direct attacks. Okay, so let's change him. Okay, now we do something something I used to do last time. <laughs> I want to see what happens. This is me being cheeky. Okay, I don't know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> Why put him in the middle? Why don't I give this defender a bit more of a headache? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll just find out, man. This, uh, this is a uh, cheeky, cheeky bumps time. Okay. Is this gonna work? I have no clue. Okay. 
I think I got so many players here, you know. Yeah. First highlight from this side of the pitch, not bad. Huh? First highlight from the right side. Means that something something did happen on the right side. But the reason why I did this is so that the central defender now attacks the channel between the two strike uh two defenders instead of the fullback and the uh fullback and the this thing that he is at. Oh, not bad. Yeah, there might be something here, you know. <laughs> Some ridiculous setup I've just done. Okay. Alright, Fabian, Dolorenzo, all this old. Oh, nice! Post up the ball. Yay, thank you. Ramani, you got one guy here, one guy here, one guy here. Okay. Okay, we got these two guys in the middle. Okay. Rui. Oh, the defender is screwed. He got nobody to mark. <laughs> Boom! This is fun, man. Oh, yeah! Come on, let's go. Let's try something different after this, okay? Let's add pass into space. I mean, now we just now we just messing with this stupid engine. I don't know, I won't call it a stupid engine, but you know, we're just messing with it. Yeah. I mean it is okay, I guess. But you can still go back to this. It's still I I like it. But I think it's too um, too heavily. F I probably would add overlap. No? Yeah, I probably would add an overlap. Yeah, yeah. To do this, right? I probably add an overlap. Okay. Overlap left. Okay. Um. Give him an inverted wing on a tank. Okay. Let's see what happens. Because somebody's gonna hold up the ball. I just don't know who. I think it's going to be the uh, inverter winger. I'm just experimenting now. Because yeah. we already saw the transition. We, you know, Now it's just, just messing about with the tag. Okay. My hero Danilo Catali been playing for the opposition. It's good to see him playing. Uh, I mean, it's good that the AI is using him for Lazio. Yeah, so... Okay, um, nothing. Okay, so it seems like... When I added the overlap, it's, overlap in structure, I think it's got worse. Right, so we can remove it. So there's no point in using it now. Okay, play our defense, we just drag them out. Okay. Alright. should just stick. So I would probably just tweak your tactics slightly. Um, like this. Hey, no, not like this. Like the way I did it just now, which was uh, pressing forward on attack, advance forward on attack, wing back on attack here, and full back on attack here. The reason why I've done it this way is because if I play the wing back on attack, this is a bit of a risky, uh, risky flank. But here we can we can have the luxury of just letting him go, and then I will remove this. I you can play with or without this, but I definitely would play on a no at least wide. And then uh, standard passing, and I would tell this player to play more direct, take more risks. Um, tell this player to more direct. The idea here is we want to aim for this player. That's it. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at some of the other tactics that have come in. Uh, we can holiday mode. We can holiday to the 17 and find out what happened. Right? Yeah. That's all we did with 17 while we go pick up the rest of the tactics. Okay, um. Oh, we got Kachi. Kachi, you got a tactic coming in. Alright, so we download your tactic first. Use Kachi's tactics next. And then we'll check from the public um, your tactics. We've got Ken, Kruno, and Shababal. Shabalala. Shabalala. Your tactics. I just like saying it like that. Sorry, if 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 you don't like it, just let me know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I'm I'm just weird, I guess. Yeah. All right, we've got to open a new window. Then we've got downloads, brother. Where is it? Okay, Kachi, copy. Uh, put it here. This. All right, come in here. Load. Oh, wait, let's find out how the other teams did, right? Okay. With your first tactic, schedule. I mean, the other leagues, 
Well, we this is us, right? Um, schedule this lost one drew against them, yeah. And then with this, this one is better at one boy. It did it won. Oh, you drew one. See, that tactic needs a bit of work because underdogs don't. You couldn't beat Udinese. One all draw. So there's something off with your tactic, right? So you have to make some changes to it. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back. Um, let's uh put in this tactic, a new tactic, load, um drop box. And we come to tactics. We go to BYT and we've got traditional 442. Wow. Okay. Uh we'll give this tactic to Mr. Traditional. I don't think it's gonna work this time. I don't think it's gonna work because I we need to actually start from scratch to do that. Um because I, it's gonna default to the older tank. We'll just put it in just you know just in case. And then oh, this is which team and the first team, okay. So we'll tell him to holiday for a week. 31st, we're done. Then we will this us. Okay, we're gonna ask him to use the same tactic. Mm. Okay, quick pick, boom, holiday, juice, whatever. Okay, thirty first, you go there. This is this guy is on holiday. This guy is on holiday. This guy is not on holiday. Yet. Okay, it's the last one. Okay, go on holiday, juice, thirty first, done. Okay, this is us. Okay, all right. Yeah, this guy's the holiday. Alright. Yep. Um Okay, so we're gonna load here. We're gonna load the tank again. Once again, if you want to get your hands on this, just, you know, it's in the um, the folder, right? So uh, the links to this is in the folder, in the description of this video. Okay, we got DLP, mm, probably not, man, this, this thing. Maramani again. Phil Lorenzo Mario Ray Kostic as a winger, I guess so, okay. Uh, Fabian Zielinski is a DLP. Who can we use now? Sandro Tonali. Okay, we use Sandro Tonali instead. Tonali, come on, let's go. Uh, target forward will be the other way around. Okay, so... Um... Next match. Okay. So here we are. Let's play the game. Okay, attack take the same APIs. Oh, basic 442. 442. Okay, the problem with this 442 is there's no punch in the middle. So you're really depending on these wingers getting up. And you're looking for them with passes. It's a Yeah, your players have to find them in passes. That's it. I mean 442s can be fun, but they have to have the place for it, man. Uh, um, this is a very 50-50 4 4 meaning it's not very attacking, it's not very defensive, it's unsure of itself. Right. So if he plays like modern formations like a 4 2 3 one or 4-3-3, it will have issues. Um Let's see how it does. Okay. I would suggest using the tactics tester to give it a run as well. We just we'll just watch it for 45 minutes and see whether we can do any better. In my opinion, it's gotta be either more attacking. Um we gotta play gotta play to his strengths. Like what does a 442 bring is uses his wing, uses the wings a lot, right? So you're gonna have to go to the wings a lot and be very aggressive. So far, they can't even get the ball, man. Against Bale Leverkusen. That's not looking good. 
I'm not very confident of um, making an orthodox World War II. But we'll try. Lunari, Ramani, okay, Muriel, Hostage takes a shot from there. Uh, take on the players a bit more, something that we might want to have. We might have wanted to see, right? Corner taken. We've got another 45. Let's go on key highlights. See what else we can see on key highlights. Key highlights will tell us basically the general gist of the game, right? Extended is a bit too much still. Key highlights will tell us, hey, you know. <laughs> Oh, the highlight, the highlight. Wow, this swinging the ball left, right, and center, man. Oi! We're not getting the ball, man. Shit. It's gotta be a bit more. Uh, I I would say this tactic is gonna be a lot more aggressive. Let's take some chances. Four four two. Uh oh, come on! No, <laughs> all over us, man. Oh, there's no out as well. Ouch! Okay, okay. I'm feeling the pinch, man. Right now. Lost lock. No, no. Still can't get the ball out to them. The fullbacks, right? They meet obstacles. They will pass the ball. So these fullbacks are not taking risks as well. Ball goes to Florian Woods, he's inside. See, fullbacks, right, they bring the ball and then I'll pass the ball now. I'm not going to take anybody on it. If anybody is going to take the players on, it's to be the wingers. See, that's how fullbacks will play. Fabian gets it. Uh, Finey, the central midfielder, does the job. No, still no, still no lack. Uh-oh. Uh oh. So I mean I'm not I'm not suggesting I'll do a better job. I'm just thinking how would I wanna do this? I probably play a bit more aggressively. This is like if you had the right players, maybe half decent as a sit back and counter tactic, right? Okay, I see wingers, I see two wingers, right, on attack. So if we could defend and then hit one over the top, yeah, maybe. By the moment no you can see that it's we you look at all the transitions none of the transitions not one single transition has been produced by Narcoli from back to front right meaning your keeper has the ball and you created a chance from it no it's all us defending for 90 minutes i think we gotta change man okay stop <laughs> okay that's it okay we've seen enough okay all right so we're gonna change a lot of things okay first i'm gonna change the roles but changes to like a ball winning midfielder on support why? I want him to be a bit more aggressive trying to win the ball. I want him to do it on the side of the... It doesn't really matter which side. Okay, we'll just turn this guy into like a DLP on support. We'll turn this guy into a ball winning midfield on support. So he'll try and win the ball high up the pitch. Uh, here, fullback, wingback. No, we'll tell this guy to be a wingback. Okay. We'll tie this guy to be a wingback on support. At least uh, dribble with the ball a bit more. We might lose the ball. Uh, wait, let me think. And uh, you may have not have those kind of players, so we have to come up with another idea. Okay, fullback on support. Okay. Ball winning midfielder is going to try and win the ball high up the pitch. The DLP will be holding his position here, but we need to get somebody to help us with the ball, man. They win the ball, they can only play to these two. This, to these two. Okay. Um, we'll tell him to be a bit more direct and aim for the target, man. Okay. All right. Um, forcing the opposition outside. Yeah. Higher. All right. We'll tell these two players to be a bit more tighter. Tighter on the opposition players, right? So at least we try and win the ball. More direct crossing. Okay, tell him to be tighter. Okay. All right. Now, these flies, we're going to... Um, I'm toying with the idea of having a bit... This guy wins the ball high up the pitch. Okay, what we'll do is we'll get a natural... We'll get an aggressive overlap on this side. Okay. So here we'll play a white midfielder. We'll play this guy as a wingback on attack. 
this guy is gonna go around him okay then um this guy will be a fullback this will be a fullback on attack so this wingback is gonna go around him this role will sit a bit narrower okay so what what we're gonna do is this guy's gonna come inside here and this guy's gonna go around in the meantime, this guy is going to cross some deep play mode, right? Take more issue less of it. Uh, he's going to hold his position as well. So he's not going to move, right? Okay. So he's going to go around here. The target four is going to come this way. These two become our, our goal scoring threats. Okay. Um, here we are going to play with a fullback. Um, I will just play fullback on support. Yeah. Counter. Okay. Alright, higher tempo, direct, no play out of defense, hit the early, cross, no. Okay, let's just do this first, okay? Let's not make it too complicated. Okay, alright, let's go. Let's see what happens, man. Oh god, we're gonna have to change. We gotta wait for this highlight to be over so we can see the thing ticking in. We managed to get one goal from a counter, right? But that was the only goal we've had so far, right? But this is your goal, no, not mine. This is your goal from um, before the changes have kicked in, right? But what we want to do is we want to see whether we can play a bit more proactively instead of reactively because we've been reactive so far, okay? So we'll put uh, Tonali as a ball with him, Dallas. Okay, okay, fine, all right? So we've had one first. This is the first one where we defended the... We defended and we launched a counter. The first time. The last one was a counter attack as well, but this is a slightly different. Bonali with the corner. Okay. So we had two shots on target. That's not too bad. Okay. We can even play white playmaker here. Dallas, Muriel. Oh, nice. Oh, that was good. Okay, all looking for these two players in front already. There you go. Read, bang. Nice. Okay. Okay, slightly better now. Our players are a bit more proactive, right? 442 has changed. Cracks the crossbar. Okay, looking better now. We can actually play white playmaker here as well. Yeah. But we're getting more highlights featuring our, our team attacking instead of defending. Okay. And Lorenzo is not having a good game except for this this white player right now. He's basically not having it's a bit of a quiet game. Bonali. Dallas. Dallas was having a quiet game. Yeah. Not anymore, he's just squad. Yeah. Alright. This is like keeping it safe. We got this guy overlapping, we got this winger being a threat on that side. Oh, finally we got a highlight from the <laughs> hey, first highlight we've had, man. From a goal kick. Yeah, okay, so it's a long goal kick. Bang. I wanna see how we defend, right? We go back to the keeper. Nice, not too bad. Tight mark, tight mark, good. Okay, go, go, go. Ah, nice. Okay, that's what we want to see. We don't get behind our players too easily. Go back to the keeper. Keeper goes long. OC man. Okay, not too bad so far. He's gone for the advance forward pass, man. Um, you really OC man. I, uh, for me, I think OC man is better playing on the right. Um. Yeah, it's okay. I think, uh, let's see what he does. Yeah, we flip the we flip the script. See the four four two now, looking slightly better. Yeah. So you can definitely do that. And if you want to change, you can play a you can play a white midfielder. Or you can play a white playmaker. Both are viable options for that tactic. I like, I like th this to be like white playmaker on support. 
Then you can play this guy as a ball winning midfielder on support. This guy is a DLP on support or even a roaming playmaker, right? Okay, then this guy can go around the camel's ass, become a wing back on the track. Then what this guy has is already got sit narrower instruction. So he's always going to shift in here. Ball winning midfielder tries to win the ball. White wing back on attack goes this way. Target forward. So you got a lot of attacking options here. But why ball winning midfielder? Because the tactic, when you... You kind of want to be a bit more proactive with uh, 4 4 2. Right? So we, that's what we did. And then uh, we went to ask these boys to type mark. So we get like a, a, a bunch of players on this side looking to release these two players. Now, it's very easy. If you have the same issue, let's say you don't have a winger on, you have a winger who can score goals, right? But he's on this side of the pitch, just flip the script, put the white playmaker here, DLP here, ball winning here, here, TF here, EF here, and you got it. The idea is to create one side, which, which, you, you're basically, what we do, we're basically creating space on the other side, right? So, yeah. All right, let's see if we got any more from Discord. Oh, we've got some more from Discord. Okay, we're gonna download this tactic now. Another one from Discord coming in. Okay, so let's uh, holiday mode uh, to the next match and see what happens next. Oh, okay. These guys, how did these guys do? With the 4 2, they lost. Alright, so. Alright. Where, where, where? This is a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, stuff, man. Okay, alright. Um, right. Go holiday mode. Choose. Just gonna go 31st and go. Okay, go. Who's this? Uh, go on holiday. We're not gonna bother now. Are we just gonna tell these guys all the holiday, man? I, I'm not gonna bother giving them tactics now. That's gonna take too long. Hey, Maximovich, I'm doing well, man. How are you? Okay. Right. Which manager is this? Okay. It's this manager. All right. So we're going to load. Um, again, I'm going to have to pop in and get the tactic. Uh, downloads. Uh, we got Kachi's tactic. No, I just did Kachi's tactic. Right. Biggie, your tactic. Okay. And then. Um, okay. We got Dropbox. Uh, this is the one. 4 2 3 1 Everton. Nice. Okay. We'll play this and see how it goes. Okay. Alright. Quick pick. Fabian Tonali. I have five wing back, wing back. Okay. I'm just going to look at your PIs just to see, just so that we don't get surprised. Basic. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh. I think most War 2 3 ones are quite decent. Uh, once again, I recommend using this uh, Total Tactics Tester to see how it plays out. But most War 2 3 ones are pretty decent. Oh, we're playing against Liverpool. Sheesh kebabs. This will be fun. I don't expect to beat Liverpool. But we will try. Okay. We shall try. Except we got Cooler Bali in defense, damn it. I should have been a bit more serious about this team that's going out. Okay, uh, I don't like Kula Bali. Okay, not too bad. I like to see this. Against a high press, your players are able to work the ball out. And the only position they couldn't do it here was here. But they won the ball back with, through counter pressing. Okay, and yeah, it's not too bad. Ah, it's okay. Because we have a highlight when they build the play out from the back, right? And they manage to find their way. And then uh, you, have the, you have a counter press on. Um, and the counter press led to a goal. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't like, I would probably have a similar style tactic myself. EM, IF, inverted winger, EF, ball, ball, do up, B, wing back, wing back. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with this tactic. Uh, looking at transitions to see the first transition we spotted suggested there's nothing wrong with this tactic man i have an amazing jersey yeah baby 
Yeah, baby. We have the Forrester back in the Premiership. So we are wearing this jersey for the next week. I'm not washing this jersey as well. My wife is going to be so pissed. Welcome. We're all going to say hello to the city ground one more time. Okay, Bremen, I will last watch it from the back, right? Remember, these are important transitions. This is the one that will tell you if your tactic is fundamentally sound. Okay. Okay. Look. What's wrong with this tactic? Nothing. Nothing. That one OC man could have, you know, if it was any far, the defender was any weaker, he would have gone past him. So here, defending, not too bad. Hey. When did the Moss? I got a Mossy, man. Oh, uh, that's just a defensive error. Okay, so that was we can see the goal. It's a defensive error, uh, featuring our goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah, that's just a defensive error. I wouldn't put too much down to it. Right? We really have prevented it. Yeah, oh, shit happens. Um, okay, let's try something. Okay, let's try something. Okay. I want to make this a bit more aggressive against Liverpool. So I'm going to make a play a ball winning midfielder here now. Okay. Uh, DLP on defense, ball winning midfielder. AP, AM, ask him to move into the channels. Okay. All right, that's it. No other changes. I think overall, I think this like is fine. Okay. I just added one move into channels here. That's all. And I'm now I'm trying to play high up the pitch with a ball winning midfielder. Um, basically, I'm trying to win the ball in this uh, high up the pitch. Yeah. Whenever you play a ball winning midfielder, that's what you're trying to do, right? On support. If you play a ball winning midfielder on defense, then that's a different story. But there's a risk, right? If you do something like that, you might open up space. If your players can't win the ball, then yeah, you're taking a chance. I'm taking a chance right now. We'll see how we do now. I think he's offside. Because we we wanted a BWM because we want to win the ball high up the pitch. Ball winning midfielder, that's that helps your team because your team is gonna start shifting high up the pitch to win the ball. Because you got a roll now using this roll. Okay. All right, so what, what happens here? Okay. Would I change your tactic? No, just add one more. If I wanted to be a bit more aggressive, I'll play with a ball winning midfield on support. Other than that, AM, add him to move into channels, that's it. Huh. Not too bad. This is a good combination for a photo. I don't see a lot of people using it, but I like the combination. It's a lot more better than uh, DL DLP box to box midfielder is the safest combination in the game, right? A ball winning midfielder DLP is a very nice combination because it's a very aggressive. Because the 4 2 3 1 is an aggressive tactic. It's not like some PC, I'll sit, I'll sit at home and defend all day long tactic. It's actually an aggressive tactic. So, yeah. And one cha one small change to the tactic to work. And it not too bad. So what do we do with this tactic? It's simple, right? So all we did was we came here, we gave this guy move into channels. There was no like we didn't give it extraordinary PIs, right? We didn't PI the crap out of this tactic. And we just changed the this role to ball winning if you don't support. That's it. That's all we needed to do for the tactic. And it becomes a different tactic altogether. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Go on holiday, next match. All right, let's see Discord, no more. Okay, now we'll go to the general, all the guys who are watching the show. Okay, uh, we got several tactics in here. Hit spirit, man, you sent a whole folder? Don't do that, man. Try not to. Very important PNG, very important PNG. 442. Okay, that's a lot of information. No, I will. Yeah, okay. 
When you went through the effort, now I have to look at it, man. Holy guacamole. Hey, don't do this, man. Don't do this. Don't ever do this. Don't trigger press. Like, do a blind trigger press like that. Don't do that. Because uh, doing that like that is never a good idea. Yeah, I'm very against this. I mean, it works for you, then go ahead. But trigger press should be selective. You should choose who you're going to trigger press. Right? Like, this is like everybody on your trigger pressing. I would avoid it, man. Because the game does, it's not like they're not going to press them. See, the game does tell you that they're going to press the player if they make a mistake, right? Okay, now you're telling them to do it all the time for every single player. And pay attention to triggering it, like, even if it's a slight mistake, right? And there's like a law of diminishing returns when it comes to trigger presses. So I would focus on players who have got poor first touch concentration instead of just doing a blind one like that. Angles, I normally leave it alone, right? Like angles, this me doing angles. So angles is like, I always have right on left, left on right. Why? Because I want to press inside. I want to force them into the middle where I do a hard tackle on the center, right? So that's what I do. But I wouldn't probably do that, you know? Yeah, I would avoid that, man. Okay, so we're going to... Uh, I wouldn't, you know... Okay, so we're going to download your tank thing. Okay, uh, Airshire Tigers. Um, where is this? Another 442, okay. Alright, uh, where's the other one here? Okay, load. Okay, let's see your tactic. Yeah, because I'm not presently using any OIs, right? Okay, so this is the only OIs I use, man. If I want to press them in the center of the page, right? So, okay, so this is what? Um, left, this is right. Wingers. Cross the ball. The Why have I done that? Because I want the wingers to cross the ball. So I'm just telling them to cross the wall. And then the strikers, don't give them space. Shoot. Then the center of the park, hard tackle. Hard tackle. Hard tackle. Hard tackle. When it comes to trigger press, you should just do it on players based on their, um, their attributes, man. Yeah. Okay. So if they got poor first touch, that kind of thing, then you do that. Like we just covered, this is like, no, this is not the same one. I was like, wait, isn't this the same tactic? Okay, so we're gonna tell this guy to go on holiday until choose, choose uh, 30th. So he's going on holiday. This is the guy, we'll tell him to go on holiday until the 30th. And then we'll just wait for this guy. When playing inside for inverted wingers, so when would you use fullbacks and when would you use wingbacks? Um, it's not. It's how comfortable am I seeing my wingbacks dribble with the ball? But if you got good wingbacks, you can dribble with the ball. Then if you got good team, got good backline, then yeah, fine, go with wingbacks. If I'm using inside forwards, depends on how I want the inside forwards. If I want them to overlap, I want to be... If I want a more aggressive tactic, I use wingbacks. If I want a safe tactic, I'm, you know, I don't want to take too many chances, I play fullbacks. Yeah. Alright, so now we got the tactic. Do, 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 puppy power. Okay, Ashire, where are you? There we go. Okay, this is the tactic, right? Your tactic. Okay. I'm playing Real Madrid next, man. It'll be fun. Okay. All right. Okay. Again, ball winning. This is uh, okay. This this is slightly different from the previous ones, right? This is gonna try and win the ball behind, like inside your your half. But it's got a uh, tighter marking. Get stuck in. Distribute to the flanks. And here again, if you're gonna use wingers, don't do this. 
you want the ball to go to the wingers quickly, right? So why would you want to play on narrow attacking with this? You're telling your players to pass inside is the first priority. If you are going to be playing with wingers, get them play on a wider width setting. So you actually are telling them to play it out to the wingers earlier. So if you do what you're doing right now, that's not a good idea. Yeah. It, it does make your 4 4 2. Uh, see, so far our transitions, we haven't had a single highlight, man. Well, let's watch get extended. This is a defensive 4 4 2, more or less, right? So far. Remember what we did with our OIs, right? We're forcing them into the center. We were trying to win the ball. And I've got players, uh, the central midfielders, we target them. We just said only the central midfielders get tackle hard. The plus side of doing that, right? All the times, every time those MCs get the ball, our players rush them. So they can't take, uh, so far they haven't been able to crack shots from outside the box. Okay, now I'm going to just change my width. Yeah, I'm just going to go on standard passing. And we're going to go on key highlights. I still think that this is the best you can do with this tactic. Yeah. You're playing, I, I suspect this is what you're trying to do. You're trying to set up like a counter attacking 4 4 2. Which is the reason why you're playing with a ball winning midfielder on defense. And we just lost one of our players. This is, you gotta get stuck in, right? I would not play get stuck in if I want to be defensive, right? Like it's a counterproductive instruction. When you're playing defensive football, you should actually be telling your players to stay on feet, not go and tackle them hard, right? You should actually, if you're gonna play a defensive football, don't use get stuck in. Yeah, whoever, Whoever plays with that instruction, generally you, you get in a lot of trouble. Yeah. In fact, so what we're gonna do right now is to try and defend this defend this situation. I'm gonna push him back. Gotta take Muriel off and play with um, Hans Hatabova. Same setup. We just play one now. There's no counter. Distribute to the flanks. Yeah. If exactly, if you wanna play distribute to the flanks. Yeah, you should not have a... Uh, um, you should have been playing white standard passing with an higher tempo. This is looking to break out and hit them on the counter. Have you already got like a target man poacher combination? Don't why like create like what you did just not trigger press everybody. Don't do that. Keep it simple like this. And remove that get stuck in instruction. And you got yourself a counter attacking for for two. Yeah, that's it. You don't have to do anything more. Don't try to overcomplicate things, man. I think it's just not you. Uh, it's a bit of overcomplication in your system. Especially when I saw the trigger presses. I don't, if you've got a trigger press the whole world, don't bother. That's asking for trouble. The trigger press does not work like that in the game. You shouldn't um, 
like go and blindly just trigger press players pick the players that you want to trigger press and uh, you just pick players who have got poor first touch poor concentration that's it okay, just keep it simple you don't do it to everybody just do it one or two people that's all Okay, so we've got that done. We've got a bit of a situation here with a card. So we've got all these tactics we looked at. Now let's look at um, the other tactics that have been submitted. Come on. Okay. All right. We start with you. Download. Okay. Just come in here. Uh, shab shab -ba -ba -la. Copy. And we'll paste this. We're gonna one, two, three. I'm gonna delete all these things. I don't think I can, but okay. I shouldn't do that. Then I escape. Um, Dropbox, bang, like this. FM playoffs, EYT. Okay, shuba ba 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 la. Okay. All right, CM attack, CM back, wing back, rapier, bowl. Okay, all right, what has it got? Stay right and good. Okay, wing back. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will watch the highlights for the first couple of minutes and I'll tell you what's wrong with this thing. Yeah. We watch it for the first couple of minutes and then I will tell you what I would do different. Well, we watch the first 45 minutes first and I will explain during the first 45 minutes. When you play a back five system like this, okay. Unless, okay, if you're a very good team, then you're probably against your opposition and no problem. You can work the ball up, the wing backs and take their own sweet ass time to get up the pitch. Yeah, fine. No problem, okay? But if you... Sometimes you're going to end up with sides that are very defensive, right? Then your system actually becomes a bit too defensive, right? So you gotta, you're gotta you depending on these wing backs to slowly get up the pitch. Every center is the primary focus of all the attacks. Your wing backs in this tactic are not the source of your width, right? You're, you're, I mean, they are the source of your width, but you, you're you not depending on them to create your chances. You're depending on uh, them to just to give you options of holding up the ball so that until you can play the ball into the center. Because if you get up this, get so high up the pitch, this is like the things that will happen, right? Because the wing backs are on support. They're not your first, you know, option. So you, you, your tactic has got, the option is actually just you're trying to get these bunch of players into the area. But who's playing the ball to them? See, every time the ball goes inside here, a you know, wing back comes out, that's it, you know, that, that's about the only thing that's gonna left be left to do, right? So, so how how do you address this? Look at look, one, two, three, four, five. Nothing is happening, right? Look at your setup here. You're not going to create chances because by the time you do create any kind of a chance, you get into the opposition third. The whole team, their grandfather, their substitutes bench, their ball boys, they're all going to be back defending. Right? The whole world is going to be back defending. And this is just against, you know, most sides, right? So, yeah, yeah, like in this kind of a team, OL, Olympic Lyon, they're playing, they're not even, they are playing with wing backs, so they're not very aggressive either. So, this is going to be a, uh, a day where, you know, you're going to see a lot of this happening, where everybody's back in the third and, you know, they try to unlock each other. And then you, uh, it depends on moments like this, and then you curse and swear and throw, <laughs> throw something at the monitor. Because uh, why does why does the game have to have terrible finishing? I kind of think. Yeah. So, see how the, all the guys running through the center. Okay. Then one, two, buckle my shoe. Okay. Alright, we gotta go on key highlights now. I mean this is I mean if it works for you then great, you know? But I will play slightly differently. Okay. It's kind of tactics, right? There's so many ways to do it. Okay, so let's try optioning. Okay, we've got cautious, screw that. Let's go positive. Slightly more direct passing. Doesn't mean the players are gonna go long, right? Because you saw it's a bottom maybe tactic. He needs to get up the pitch for this slightly more direct passing to kick in. You can do it this way. Look. Yeah, you're just starting to go complete wing back on attack. Okay, let's just do this first, right? Why not? I mean, like, what are these guys doing? Nothing much, right? So you get these ball playing defenders to play the ball out. That's one option. Okay. 
Let's try that first. Under lap, left and under lap, right. You're trying to influence the position of wing backs, right? Through the transition. Okay, so let's just remove this first. Yeah, let's just, you know, try to get them to be a bit more aggressive. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, ball playing defender behind roaming? Nah, just do a central defender behind a roaming. The roaming playmaker. He's gonna shift left, right, left, right. You got these two guys bringing the ball up. Th these guys can actually be white. This is one time where I would suggest using white center backs. Then you have two options for width. Right, so now you got two guys going up, right? So. You got five at the back like this but now we are using these guys as complete wing backs we want them to be a, on attack duty okay go now he's gonna take the flank on okay he's these players will take the flank on a bit more and they'll roam right so i would change these to attack duties you're playing five at the back right i mean i don't unless you, you there are other ways of making this that is just one way right okay getting this guys to be complete wing backs and on attack so that they attack the flanks right? naturally it's gonna give you a bit of a situation defensively all right um okay what other things can we do okay the other thing we can do is this let's make it a more attacking minded. Go Mazala on attack. Mazala on attack. This guy can be more anchor mental. DLP on support. Okay, done. Now we play these guys as ball playing defenders. We get these guys ball playing defenders. We get these guys now complete wing backs are fine. Wing backs on attack are fine. Both roles are fine. We get except complete wing back roams, right? Wing backs on attack hug the line a bit more. Oh, wing back on attack. Then we get a target forward and support. He drops a bit and advance forward. Slightly more direct passing is fine. We probably want to use the flanks a bit more. So I think it could be more wider. There's no need to go direct. Don't yeah, play tempo, normal, normal. Uh counter, counter press on. Because there's I mean, you're gonna be so high up the pitch, you got three at the back. I mean, you can't defend with three. You can defend with three, so use counter press. Distribute to the wing backs and throw it long. So you can actually throw it to the wing backs on attack. Um forcing the opposition wide, yeah, fine. Okay, can can go up. We can actually ask them to press slightly higher. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh wing backs, pass it shorter, take few risks, shoot wider, stay wider. Yeah. It's uh, I would definitely not ask them to do this, right? Take few risks. Okay. Pass it shorter. I mean <laughs> Otherwise, your tactics will take forever to get out of the pitch. Now, we're using these two Mazalas to work with them. Okay. So, the Mazalas are going to work with them. So, the Mazalas will come out to help you use the flanks a bit more. Instead of pushing through the center. Because right now, you're pushing through the center. Everything is happening through the center. You got... I mean, what are you going to do when you play a DMB system? If you play a DMB system, then every time those, those guys are just going to run into DMs, right? They're just going to get their path blocked. So maybe that could work against a 4 2 3 one, right? If you're playing a 4 2 3 one and attacking 4 2 3 one, yeah, it could work because they only have two midfielders. But now we are playing against another system and we just want to get around the flanks and get away from these two players. Right? So we want to get away from these two and these two. Right? So we're telling these wingbacks to work with the Mazala to bring the ball up the pitch. I think we're on higher man, higher attacking meta. But don't be surprised, this kind of tactics right produce more draws than anything else. So we are you have to you have to be prepared. If you plan to play like this, you wanna play a tactic like this, you have to be prepared for that. Because if you want it to be attacking, then there's other setups, right? Like for example, pushing this guy here. Now I'm playing higher up the pitch. So you, if you set up the tactic with a DLP in the middle, you're playing high up the pitch with a much more aggressive tactic. Yeah. So 
So they, I would probably set it up like that. So if I wanted to, I'd probably play this guy here. Because you know what? You are a center, you know, you, you're looking to punch through the middle. So I'll play him like a DLP on support, right here. While playing defender is fine. This guy can even be a libero if you wanted to. This guy pushes up into the middle. Then you can play a wing back on attack here. Wing back on attack here. And then you get another option to go Mazala on attack. Mazala on attack. Then you can anchor this player like a DLP on defense. That's it. So these two become your flanking attack pet, uh, flanking attacks. Then this guy is the target for a support. Then you get more options. So I would set up. If you don't want to do this, go central defender. Okay. I would set up the tactic like this first, then drop it like this if I need to hold on to a lead. Right. Now, if you want to do something like this, like your CM on attack, right? This. You know how we'll do it? I'll do it differently. I'll play inverter wing back on attack. Inverter wing back on attack. You want to do a center flight? Do a pure center flight. Like, you know, everybody is driving through the middle. So this guy is going to look for options inside as well. Inside as well. So then you have like at set center midfield on attack, center midfield on attack, inverted wing back on attack, inverted wing back on attack. So everybody's pushing to the center. And you only have these three guys, these four guys helping you in defense. Okay, so next tactic. Oh, let's we gotta go through a few tactics. Okay. Alright, hey. Okay, so we done this. Let's look at Kuno, your tactic. Do 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 do. Let's go. Okay, download. Kuno, where are you? There you are. Copy. Okay. Let's we holding to the next match already. Next match is Benfica, man. Yeah, you did that because you're afraid to lose too much the ball with wing back. That is your attack is too safe. You're not gonna create a lot of chances. You have to have an option to score goals as well. Right. Because if you if you're afraid your wing back is going to lose the ball, pass it shorter, then by the time you create opportunities, the other team is already defending, all back defending. Then you might have issues. You already got, you're playing three at the back. I mean, you should be able to defend. Another option you can do is target man poacher, and then all you do is you hurl the balls from the back, right? In which case, you're just playing balls over the top to attackers in the final third. That's it. Yeah. That could be a one option, but a defensive tactic like that, you got to expect to be sitting on your back foot for a long time. Okay, 4-3-3 three, three shifted left. Oh, okay. oh God. This is an asymmetric tactic. Okay. All right, we'll play this and I'll show you how my... When you play with the inverted wing back, like this, this white playmaker, I like this. Okay, this is a pretty safe tactic, right? Yeah, everybody's gonna come this way. You're building up play here, and then you're hoping that this guy scores goals. So make sure that this guy's got a very he's got a very good goal scoring record, and he's got a right foot coming in from this position. So his right foot is very strong. So let's see whether he can create goals. This has got a flat down, a, a flat down one side of the, you're building a play on the right for the guy on the left to score everything. And then you, I like the use of the poacher because then the poacher is always on a defender, right? So because the poacher is sitting on, on top of a defender, you're always marked. So you, basically want to be quite aggressive in terms of your press for this tactic as well. Oh, good defending. So far lucky, man. But so far, no. It's all Benfica, man. Something wrong. Full back, full back. Ball winning midfielder. I suppose. Okay. Alright. Um, let's... Watch it for a bit longer. And it's all the highlights of them. 
Yeah. We haven't had highlights featuring us, right? Right. So far. This is, it's usually the sign that something is wrong with the tank thing. But you cannot sit down there and go like, we, uh, we'll wait for like, you know, we'll wait until to see what happens. Like, this can, this could be a goal from the back to front, right? We score one goal on a counter. So I would be like, I'd still be concerned, man. Because I haven't seen a single goal from, you know, this is a counter attacking goal, right? So back to front, the ball went over the top and we scored a goal. Yeah. This guy, this BWM, should be a BWM. Right. We've got to change it. This is not a BWM. No, no, no. Okay, we're changing it now. We should not be playing a BWM. We should be playing a roaming playmaker here. We should be playing a shadow striker here. Okay. Different setup. Now you got two guys here creating, right? Inverted wing back up. You now you got quarterbacks. This is what you want. You have quarterbacks in this position. Okay. This guy should be a CM on attack. Okay, now you got quarterbacks here. In whatever we're coming here, what they're gonna do is they're gonna play those balls from deeper positions. Okay. Uh, you don't need to work ball into box. Okay, okay, we're gonna counter press. Um, yeah, yeah, I will do this like that. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, I will edit title marking. All right. That's all we that's all we're gonna be doing, right? We're gonna just gonna have these quarterbacks in the center. I like actually would like this system to use a roaming playmaker instead of ball winning midfielder. Because when you have a ball winning midfielder, what you're gonna get is this group, right? In, in here in this central area, creating passes from deeper positions. I, I think asymmetrical tactics are great, yeah. I love asymmetrical tactics. I think they're very, very strong. Hey, John Smith, how are you, man? Ow, my foot hurts. Uh -huh. If you have between 4 2 3 1 versus 4 3 3 1, does either formation play a better game press setup? Please, all things equal. Uh, yeah, the 4 2 3 1. The 4 2 3 1 is actually more effective as a game pressing system than the 4 3 3. Because the 4 3 3, you have to play so high up the pitch that you sometimes leave yourself exposed to balls over the top. Whereas in a 4 2 3 1, you can actually have two anchor players in midfield, but it's still high up the pitch. You can play with a DLP ball winning midfielder combination with a uh, AM support, right? So they're always going to give defensive teams a headache. Considering the fact that most defensive teams um, nowadays play a 4 3 3 DM with the DM, so that they will have issues playing the ball out from defense because they have a DM. But if you play like a 4 3 3 DM yourself, then you will always have issues putting pressure on the opposition team's uh, defensive midfielder. Because here we're talking about the Gigan pressing system. Right? In my opinion, the best Gigan system, the best Gigan pressing system is the one that plays as a 4 2 3 right? So now we got all these pressure points from, from the back. Okay. We got a lot of pressure points now. In this tactic. Huh? Because Every time the ball comes to the, our third, right, we got these uh play this these guys playing as uh, quarterbacks. One, two, three. These three are all quarterbacks. So they're quarterbacking. So this CM now on attack, right? He can actually drive up the pitch. He can be another threat. So the Roby playmaker has a lot of options. Yeah. I would just tweak it like that, man. What's a good basic midfield combination in a 4-3-3? You know, 4 3 3 DM. I mean, there's no basic. I mean, all. 4 3 3 is like, I would go with. Uh, for me, it's like Rome. I personally, depends on the kind of players I have, right? Yeah, my preferred setup is actually CM on attack, um, Rome, uh, CM on attack, ball winning midfielder, and register. Because I like to play my 4 3 3 really high up the pitch. Okay, or uh, roaming playmaker. Uh, CM on attack and Roby Playmaker CM on attack and Mazala is another combination I use because I want to play high up the pitch so it depends on what I have what I have uh, you know in, as players so sometimes I even use ball winning midfielder CM on attack and register that also can work so there's no like one basic combination it's what you want to do with it Okay, so now with Kuno, we've done yours. We're gonna use a Ken's tactic. 
download uh, come in here where scan can you take the oh four two four dm okay oh that's cool and you know four two four now man yeah all right let's load the four two four my foot hurts 424, there we go. Okay, quick, quick. Next match. Mini C, how are you, man? Long time we'll see. Hey, man, no problem, man, Kruno. Like I said before, guys, we do this once in a while. All right, we don't risk not, I don't, I don't do this now every week. All right. For the guys on Discord, probably we'll do one again next week. Yeah. Every week. What am I saying? Register Volante, okay, not bad. I like this. Volante better be very good at tackling and winning the ball. Wing back. Wing back attack. Don't do this. I, okay, I mean, you could have passed inside and then these guys go direct, okay? Yeah, you haven't done that. We'll, I'll, we'll see the transitions and you'll, you'll know what I mean. Okay, this kind of 4 2 4 right? You're playing from the back and you're playing narrow. Okay, when the thing is, I did this. I think I need to revisit team instructions with you guys again one more time. I did a video for it in FM 19. I haven't done one again. But every time you want to set up a tactic like this, you want to play on a slightly wider width and so that you can encourage the balls to go out to the flanks a lot earlier. Um, if you play like a narrow width, then you're kind of telling your players, hey, you know what? Uh, let's play the ball inside, then go outside. So when that happens, you kind of getting into a bit of a bother trying to build up play. So you you don't have good ball transition from defense. If you're, because you're narrow, right? So your priority isn't to, hey, let's look for the guys on the flanks. So, and... Yeah. Unless, of course, you say, okay, I want to maintain possession, then bang, bang. But then what happens here? These guys are so far away. So these guys are going to run up the pitch. Yeah, let's just... Uh, Watch the thing and see whether we can recover. Well, not much in terms of highlights. Okay, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna make a few changes. First thing I'm gonna change is I'm gonna change the width. I'm gonna go to fairly wide. Now we've got overlap right on this flank. You have an overlap with a volante and a fullback on attack. Hmm. What you do is you come to this guy and you play something like an inside forward and support. Okay. Inside water support. Inverted wing on support. Tell this guy to be a wing back on support. Tell him to stay wider. Okay, I'm gonna show you a trick. I just did a video, right? Okay. Release, not to the F9. This one will be an advanced forward. This guy will be an F9. Ah, oh, wait, hold on. If he releases, yeah, we play. Oh, sure, it was, but let's try that. Okay, so uh, wing back coming up, wing back going up. Oh, uh, crossing fast post, stay wider, should be more risky. More. Okay, so we want this guy to push up the pitch. Okay, we're not gonna do shorter passing, we're gonna play a bit. I mean, we're gonna play standard passing basically. This guy's crossing fast post. Yeah, this guy will be told to stay wider. This guy, um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, we might have support. I can't ask him to be a wingback on a tank. Just push his marks. Yeah, okay, all right. He's gonna warm up the pitch. This guy's gonna come here. Volante is gonna come here. Register, side forward. Okay, let's go. When starting a lower league tag save, do you tailor your tactic to the initial roster or commit to a tactic? At all? Oh, I always want them to end up playing a tactic I want them to play. Yeah. When I play lower league football, right, I always have a goal. Okay, eventually they're all gonna play like 4-4-2 DM. Okay, two striker systems. That's me. When it comes to lower league football, I always have a plan that I want to play with the two striker system. Because the it's easier for us to get promoted when we have a two striker system because I got two options to score goals. I have plenty more um yeah. 
I can play counter attacking football. I you know if we get better, I can play. I can switch to other systems as well. But so I'm always going for that. So yeah, but when you first join a club, <laughs> you kind of you may have you may be forced into playing a tactic that's suited for them, right? Then you shift to that. See what happened our transition. I hope you guys are watching that because that's exactly what we wanted. Quick, direct passes. Right? Because we weren't getting that earlier. Right? So this way, when you play narrow in this kind of a setup, you're kind of like playing it like, uh, oh yeah, you know, the, uh, you're looking inside for your first pass. You're looking inside for your every pass. But then what's the point? Right? The players are so far away. So what you want to do is you want to tell the players to be, be a bit more aggressive. Look at my wing back is now. He's up here. So I'm actually now high up the pitch. I got width for some of my other roles and I'm being a bit more proactive, right? So in terms of how we use the ball. Okay, so here we go. Um, well, this is where we are defending, so it shouldn't be that different. Okay, look at where the wing back goes now. That was a pass looking for the wing back. All right, so. This is a register. Let's change it to roaming playmaker. Tell it to keep up with our tactic. Because there's no point playing a register. Okay, register volante is not bad, but you have to have players for that, right? So what you could do is if you have a problem, roaming playmaker volante can be one, or you can even go for a double roaming playmaker combination. Then they both go up and come down together. Easier to pull off. Volante and Regista is not that easy to pull off. Not many people, not, there are not a lot of people that can pull it off, right? So this is actually a safer option for a lot of people. Then you got two of them going up and down, up and down together, right? So instead of Volante run with the ball and then loses the ball, you screw. So you can actually go with a double roaming playmaker combination as well. Unfortunately for us, this is our first defeat. Ouch. But I would look at play with higher width, right? Definitely with this tactic. Because the problem right now is that the width that things are too low. Yeah. No, you won't get abused by people, man. If you want to create a defensive 442, go. I'm waiting to I'm waiting to see guys using defensive 442s in draft mode. No, a lot. Of People are using that in draft mode, man. So Ken, with this setup, right? Okay. You can be a bit more aggressive. You can play wing backs on attack. You need to get these guys playing as wing backs. There's too much of a gap, right? Okay. Uh if you want to do Regista Volante, it's possible. I will probably go roaming vol roaming and volante first. I use a fullback. Okay. If anything else, you want you're afraid. Problem is we need to get this guy up the pitch. Right? If we think too long. Okay, I would start with your tactic going fairly wider standard first, okay? Make this change to your tactic first. That's the first change you make. Then, um, if you want to get these wingbacks to be high up the pitch, right? Being more involved, then you ask this guy to hold up the ball, yeah? So they, he holds up the ball, then his wingback is going to just bomb past him. So in which case, I think it's better to play the roaming here. And then you play the volante here, right? So you got a volante on this side. Here you can play like a wing back on support, right? So you play a volante and a wing back on support. And this side you have this wing back on attack. This guy holding. So roaming playmaker is going to keep up with these two. Here, I mean, uh, okay, you want to play F9? Yeah, this is fine as well. This guy will drop, right? So when he drops, he comes up to the volante. At least you got a, you got some kind of a synergy happening here with these two roles. Then you got wing back on attack, inverter winger, and roaming playmaker on this side. Yeah, this could really work very nicely. Yeah. Okay. Um, next tactic, we are looking at Mirovich. Your tactic. All right, download Mirovich. Atalanta. You and Atalanta have a long standing love affair, man. Every time I get a tactic from you, it's always Atalanta. <laughs> okay. Dropbox. 
BYT, where are you? Atalanta, here we go. What exactly does a roaming playmaker do differently from AP or Regista? AP! A tacky playmaker firstly is a different tier huh? from a roaming playmaker and a Regista. Okay. Look at the attributes needed for a roaming playmaker and a Regista. When you have a roaming playmaker in a deeper position, a roaming playmaker is expected to work a lot harder because he needs more attributes, right? So he's going to bust the gut. He's going to be a lot more of an aggressive playmaker than a Regista. So that's the difference. Whereas the AP is in a different tier altogether. You, you can't find the AP here. Okay, CM attacks here. Oh god, I know this tactic. This, nothing wrong with this tactic. Okay, just enjoy yourself. Like this. Like, this is a lot of fun. This is a show off tactic. You're showing off right now. That's what you're doing. You're showing off. You're showing off. That's what I know you are doing. You're showing off your tactic. This, there's nothing wrong with this tactic. I would change this tactic in one. Anyway, man. See, I'm attack. See, I'm attack. You better be back. Center flood. This is what I call a center flood, right? These guys are going to hold down your flanks. I mean, depending on the opposition, you can actually you can actually play them as other roles as well, like white midfielders. But here, you're looking at players going through the middle, like creating opportunities for you. So, play through the middle is something I would do. Focus play through the middle. I play also, you know, like, uh, yeah, okay. I'll probably add this instruction here. Thank you. That's all. I'll be more disciplined. Probably not. I'll remove it. Alright, uh, this is... Uh... Yeah. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Remove. Okay. Alright, done. <laughs> higher defensive line. That we almost got um, punished with a higher defensive line, right? That's why I dropped the the defensive line a bit more, but I wanted the press to start. Because the, the press will be triggered by a striker. Right? So but you got nobody else behind the striker, right? So that's why I pushed it up. So that um he at least he at least because once the striker presses, the rest will follow. So already such a deep tactic. You don't have to, you know, trigger press will deep. Unless you are you really want to spend all that time trying to win the ball in this area of the pitch. Which is uh it's a bit of a pity for a 4-1-4-1. Yeah. You know, Osimhen chases down that ball, and then fights to Lorenzo, and then what a rocket, man. Okay, focus play to the middle. Let's go, remove this. Okay, done. That's it. Don't have to make any more changes here, man. I think it's like, this is fine. It should be, it should work. Yeah. Kulabali is an idiot, so we're gonna have to take him off. I got no love for this player. Poor manager. We gotta be screwed, man. We can see the goal is 99.99% chance Kula Bali's fault. Hey, he wins the header just to prove me wrong. Damn it. Sometimes I wish these players would listen to me and make me look good, but they're not <laughs> listening to me. Yeah. There we go. We'll see, man. And then, oh, we play F9, right? Yeah. So he drops deep. Go, low, 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 low. Yeah. This guy is coming inside. Because the defender was out of position. Wow, what a goal. Damn it, the changes haven't kicked in yet. That highlights this way the changes. I don't think you should change your tactic. Yeah. I already changed a few things, right? This guy, um, winger, we got Mark. What are you marking? No, 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 no. Oh, don't do that. Don't move this. Uh, don't tell me you got all the Mark, Mark stuff going on. Okay, this one, for this role, tell him to move into the channels. To both of them. And move into the channels. They go left and right, right? Through players. Okay. They can also dribble more. Yeah. I forgot to check your PIs. So you want these guys to move into the channels. They, what the, that will do is they will end up moving like between players. So do this pieces. This role can be a roaming playmaker. Slightly more aggressive to, uh, to attack the counter press, play or defense. Okay. Alright, thank okay. you. What about track instead of F9? Nah, uh, don't play a track. Yeah. I'll play F9. F9 better. Uh, 
F9 is definitely better than F9. At least because if easy to find players who can play as an F9, probably harder if you want to look for players who are tracker distance. <laughs> yeah, so it'd probably be a bit harder. So we made a few changes and we're rocking and rolling, baby. Yeah. I, did, I didn't realize you have, you have this guy is marking their full max. So it's not a really good thing to do because they're so far away, right? So every time the opposition has the ball, they're going to run to the fullback just to mark him. So I, I removed those instructions. I mean, it's not working right now because they are wingbacks, right? Yeah. So I would play against this team. Wait. Okay, wait. Let me think. Let me think on this. Um... I'm gonna ask him. Okay, we are playing against a system right now that's playing um, with uh, what's that? Wing backs only, right? So that's why I'm doing, telling them to do this. Get further forward. But otherwise, they're not gonna come up the pitch, right? So it's too near, man. right? This took, but they, they they they'll take a long time to come to these two roles, right? So in fact, what we'll do is we'll just see what happens when I tell I I'm perfectly happy to do this, man. No. And we'll tell these two guys to invert the women, to invert the women support. Okay, done. So now, I get width from the two wingers. I get a CM on attack running through the middle. And I got the inverted wingbacks acting like an anchor. Yeah. So what happened now is the two inverted wingbacks will come here and they'll hold. And then these two guys will go wide. And these two guys are going to attack the center, getting in between the players. The roaming playmaker has got a lot of work to do in that case. He's gonna have to look for options. Ah, he points to the spot. What recommendation would you rec what formation would I recommend to build your first ever tactic? As in your own first tactic. 433 DM. It's a good starting system for most people. If you want to master the game of football manager, make a 442. By the time you because of 442, there are so many permutations with a 442, right? There's so many permutations. So um, you will have like so many options with a 442 so you will learn a lot more things because you have so many changes you can make with a 442 you can play with inverter wing bags you can you can play like a deep low block 442 you can play a high press 442 you can play with DLP defenders you can play with a static uh, you can play with a mobile pivot to support duties ah, there's so many ways so because there's so many permutations possible, the best formation to master the game with is a 442. Then you learn a lot of things. Yeah. But if it's your first time playing the game, a 433 is the easiest. But you always run into this situation with a 433. Man, where are the goals coming from? <laughs> That's the common problem most people have with uh, that the first time. So um, for your tactic, right? And by the way, inverted wing on support. Then wingers on attack, CM on attack. Yeah, that's all you need to do. It could become a solid option. I mean, I thought the first time you could, but inverted wing backs on attack, the way we were playing it, also then requires the overlap. Yeah, uh, overlap as well. Add the overlap instruction. Then the white players will hold on to the ball. Inverted wing backs are sometimes to the overlap. Can be quite fun. Basically, a lot of the ways I play Galileo hasn't changed in Football Manager 22. You can still do it the same way. Because yeah. you're familiar with Galileo, right? How it set it up. It was a simple process. Four and four, right? And then we had this setup for the Galileo, right? So I used to do this for Galileo. Okay. I had this for Galileo, right? So I support, support the inverter wingbacks here, inverter wingbacks here, right? So uh, the idea behind Galileo was... Uh, we want these players to hold their positions, right? Okay. But basically, not hold position. We wanted these players to be wide options. So when these guys come in here and this guy brings up the ball, when we're here, you can go around. Same principle is can still work, you can also work for your forward for one. Yeah. But this I can actually is also not a bad option for tactics. You can actually play this like a CM on attack, wing on support, wing on support. Uh, here, what I play with the best. You can play with the wing backs. Yeah. They come here, they hold this position, and then this CM attack is the one driving on the run. So this guy becomes a roaming. So, 
So he went away by comes inside here, holds the position. Um, but you don't want him to be on attack duty, you want him to be on a support duty. Alright, so he goes in here. And then you got this group of four controlling the center. Right, so you got a W, right? Because this guy comes here, right? This guy comes here, right, during the transition. So you got yourself a W shape. So when they, you get this W shape, then this is your width. The guy's giving you the width. So occasionally they do the overlap. And they were powers, the uh, overpower sides. Yeah, it can still it can still work. Because your 4141 can be can work along the same principles, yeah. Okay. Do 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 puppy power unite. Ship for two 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 two. Oh, we're just talking about it. <laughs> okay. DLP support winger. Okay. Um Again, don't. I mean, I see a lot of people doing this with their 4 2 force. You know, standard with completely narrow. I kind of like, depending on the ball getting here. So you beat a 4 3 3 DM, game is over. Right? So you can play this game, you can see what I mean. Yeah, always, never, never, never. I mean, I wouldn't play a 4 2 4 on narrow, like short passing. Uh, don't do that. Yeah. Okay, I'll be back to these guys here. So let's holiday. <laughs> let's hol yes, tell these managers to holiday forever. Okay, go holiday forever. Don't know what tactic they're using, but if you guys want to use this safe, it's available. It's in the description of the video. You can go and test your tactics with this as well. Yeah. Okay, where are we now? Okay. Uh, we still with this this guy go holiday forever. I mean, I can choose holiday indefinitely. Why am I doing this? Okay, go. All right, done. God, I could I could have done holiday indefinitely. I forgot to do that. Yeah, you can. You can do tell them to hold up the ball. Then, but then if it, they're holding up the ball, the wing backs will be very aggressive. Yeah. Because then you don't have width, so somebody has to go around them. How about 4 3 4? We wear center back and 3 Sarikas. Um, yeah, I can. White center back, 3 Libero and 3 Sarikas. Yep, possible. Yeah. They work in football manager. 3 4 3s. White center backs, right? Mm -hmm. And Libero and 3 Sarikas. I have a, like. You can actually do like a white. Um, you can actually play a 3 4 3 diamond in the game. Yeah. Like. Three at the back, right? And then you have a one DM here, one guy here, one AM, three strikers, two wingers. It's possible. It actually works. But then you like need very good three wide center backs. Then you need very good players but who can pass the ball. And you're playing on direct, like really wide width and direct attacking patterns. So yeah, and your two wingers have to be very very hard working. They should be able to bring out the ball, but it can be done. You put a lot of pressure on defenses. Yeah. But you can't use it in draft. Mode. But against the AI, it works, yeah. Okay, so this we have to play this. Okay, let's go. We have kids, we have players all over the place. Yeah, but yes, and your coach will probably never ask the boys to pass it short, right? 3 4 3, you can't play pass it short unless your players are so good at dribbling that the other team can't take the ball off them. But you gotta play long passes. You give it to one player, and the player is looking for the winger straight away. And the defenders are told to kick the ball, kick it long. So I played 3 4 3 in uh compared i played a 343 as a formation for my team last time as well so that logic was really simple i told all the defenders whatever you do with the ball don't try to be too smart yeah just play down the flanks because that's where our players are to get the ball pump it to the flanks okay um
porque... Let's play shot to the midfielder. All we do is defend and then on a transition beat them. Man. Do you think a 3 5 3? I don't think there's a 3 5 3 in the game. There's no 3 5 3 in the game. How can you have a 3 5 3? That's an extra player. Unless the manager comes out and plays. Okay. Alright. This one is wingman on support, just wingman on support. You need somebody carrying the ball. Okay, so wingman on support. That's it. First start. This guy just DLF on support. He needs somebody dropping. Uh prof. Yeah, okay, alright. This could be fine. Um DLP CM on support. Okay. I mean, alright. Okay, let's go with a bit more. Okay, that's it. Simple changes. Prevent short Google distribution, fine. Okay. Uh, okay, higher. Okay. We might lose the ball, but you know, such is life. <laughs> uh okay. I mean this this game, right? You can actually tell the goalkeeper not to do this. No? Just go to the flex. Is it a play? I mean, you can't play out from the back. I'm nobody's saying don't do it. I'm just well, let's see what happens, right? I tell you, goalkeeper, play out to the flanks for some some other time. Oh yeah, baby, look at this. So a little width setting does the attack thing. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, I mean, not. I mean, that transition is what I was after. <laughs> Hopefully, our players actually do better. Yeah. All right, we can actually change this guy now. All right, this guy is dropping. But why is he? He's why is he dropping to the side where this player is not helping him, helping out, helping out very much, right? So we gotta change this guy to see him on support and put this guy as a DLP on defense. Yeah. So now he drops to the side where there's a CM. Okay, all right, let's get some. Ooh la la. Width is a such an important thing, especially you play 4 2 4. If you want to play a 4 2 4, it's all in the width and passing. That's all. And the players. Yeah, where do you have the players for? Yeah, we can see that goal, right? Thing is, props. I probably play a four to four. If you don't get the transitions working, we get screwed. Okay, hit early cross, pass into space, go even wider, go a bit more direct, dribble less. Okay. I got players all at, at, trying to attack the lines. Gotta be higher. Our defensive line, our line of engagement is too. We have to change it. That. Oh man, it's already quite high. Use title marking. Okay. Then the D the DLP is too deep. Man. Oh, I gotta be even more aggressive. Yeah, I gotta be more aggressive. Now I'm just trying to figure out what to do with this tactic because I want to try. I'm trying to do a different one. Earlier we did one with an aggressive setup, right? We're trying to do a slightly different 4 2 4 here. Because we're playing against a 4 2 3 1, so mm, this is too, mm, too. Let's try and win the ball higher up the pitch, okay? Alright, DLP and ball winning midfield. I'm gonna try and win the ball higher up the pitch. Then go wing back and wing back.
Okay, we've got one back. Um, I told the goalkeeper to play to the flanks. Right, so now he's going to kick. Kick? Idiot. Oh, man. I wanted him to play out to the flanks, man. He did took his own sweet ass time. Go, go, go. Oh, that was close. Oh, it's, yeah. It's someone other I like 4 2 4 with ball winning midfielder and DLP. Oh, no, no, no. What happened here? Oh, shit. No wonder we're losing. Zielinski? What's wrong with me? This guy's got no brains to defend. Oh, man. We gotta play with uh, you gotta play with two ball winners here. They gotta be like a double pivot. My mistake was playing with a guy who doesn't tackle, so it doesn't help us. But I would definitely adjust it. You know, play high up the pitch with, with a ball winning midfielder and a DLP on support. Instead of DLP on defense, you gotta play a four two four. Go do it. Go all the way with it. Don't have like a DLP on defense that kind of thing, right? So it just you know winning the second ball. You got so many players high up the pitch. Like, we have four players high up the pitch. So what's the point? I mean, you want to play a 4-2-4? It's all or nothing. Otherwise, you can do something different, right? Okay, you can play a safer version. Okay. Like this. Then you play with a CM on attack. And DLP on defense. Or roaming playmaker. Yeah, this is a, like a safer version. You want to learn how to play it? I would suggest just making the tactic and just watching whole, like, team, how teams use the spaces. That's it. Yeah. Watch like old shows with how they used to play her 4 2 4. There's so many, so many different kinds of 4 2 4s. Okay, so like we got like Wimbledon used to play a 4 2 4, which just hoof the ball. And then we have, um, we have, um, um, ah, Sam Wenger, when he set up the 4 2 4, his 4 2 4 was even different. His 4 2 4 was one touch 4 2 4. And then we have Pep Guardiola who set up a 4-2-4 and his 4-2-4 was entirely different used to, into what the wing backs. Yeah. So, oh my god, another 4-2-4. All right. <laughs> got laying. We get, do they got a lot of 4-2-4s, man? Okay. Diego Misa, D-4-4-2. Okay. All right. This is interesting. Yours is D-4-4-2. This should be fun. Looking for D442. The air. Okay. Alright, wing back on attack. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Okay, see, I'm a D man. Do you help the Okay, your 424 is mid block 424. I was right. Yeah. Okay, it's well designed. I wouldn't change this. Keep it the way it is. It's a mid block 424. You're soaking in and you want to hit teams, right? Basically, you want to draw them in and you want to. You're not hitting them on the counter, but you're like. I, okay, there are two things about this tactic, right? First up, it's only it's very one-dimensional. Okay? When you play a mid-block, you're drawing them in, and then when they, you hit them, you want to try and hit them quickly. But where does where are your quick attacks coming from? You're hoping these wing-backs get behind the defenders. Isn't that going to take you a bit long? Because <clears throat> these wing-backs are defending, then you... Yeah, you have to watch the transitions to see what I mean. Right, so we will, we'll play the transitions and you see what I mean. Because the thing is this, right? When you create a 4 2, when you play a 4 4 2, you have to ask yourself, how am I going to score my goals? There are several ways you can do this. You can have like a dominating possession centric 4 4 2, where you keep the ball, you move it around, play a lot of one touch football, and then try and with lots of movement get a goal. Yeah, great. You have players for that. You don't, then you can't do that. Then you, you're down to the other kinds of 4 4 2. So okay, maybe I draw them into a block and then. When they lose the ball, I want to hit them very quickly. Okay, fine. That means you have to have players in the final third attacking. You have to have wingers who are attacking, right? Okay. So in this tactic, haha, we're playing against a deep formation. Okay. Evil laugh coming out. Okay, we're gonna have to make sure that Tonali is playing instead of this uh, this other joker here. I mean, I'm got nothing against him, but uh, we need Tonali. We need a double combination here. Uh, where's Tonali? Okay, we put him here. We're gonna take Kulabali out and play with uh, Romani. Okay, alright. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Done. 
let's go. Let's watch this game. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. All right. We're gonna watch a few of the transitions before we come out of this. Okay. All right. Let's wait. I have a drink while we waiting. We only they're playing against Augsburg only, you know. So we should we should be able to beat them, right? We should be able to have time to bring the ball up and nicely create some attacking patterns, right? Fifteen minutes. Our XG is only zero point one four. We haven't been moving them around, so again, yeah. and we go around looking for opportunities, okay. patiently trying to grow. Okay. One over the top from our Fabian. Okay, we should expect them, to expect him to do this all the time. Yeah, okay, again, nothing is happening. Okay, okay, this one for this for, uh, team that I'm playing against, we have to dominate them. We have to move them around a bit more. Okay, and try and create. You are set up this formation that we have. We can do that with this team. We're gonna patiently probe them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to your tactic. We're gonna make a few changes. Okay, all right. Uh, everything is fine. We're not gonna do much. We're not gonna change anything here. Okay. I'm gonna add work ball into box and go low. Why I want my players to go to the line and do cutbacks. The wing backs are gonna get there. Inverter wingers, maybe this DLF and a poacher. Okay, fine. A poacher. A poacher is gonna get others involved in the play. DLF is coming here, support. These two are anchors. Both of them. This guy has holds position. This guy is also gonna hold position. So. Yeah, okay, we'll just leave it at the moment because both the rules are holding position, right? They're not very attacking. It's not a very attacking setup. Because I assume you want to create a bit more of a counter attacking, but you see what I mean, right? We're playing against a team that's defending and we're trying to break them down with this type thing. Okay. And we're not exactly doing that. Okay. Hey, put ball into box. Okay, now, why am I focusing played on the left? No, 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 no. Focus played on the middle. Okay, this is one time we can go very narrow. All right. Okay. DLF on support, deep line playmaker. This guy drops. I want to play through the middle. Okay. This guy is not DLP. He's a roaming playmaker. Okay. I don't want a DLP. DLP is holding his position. I want a roaming playmaker. A roaming playmaker is going to be left. He's going to be right. Okay. He's going to attack. He's going to move up this, this pocket of space where the DLF and the poacher is. Okay. But DLF and poacher. Poacher is going to look back for the pass when he doesn't have an option. right? So this, you have, this is what you have to remember. These two roles together, how they work. So we, all we added was work ball into box, right? Because we were playing against a weaker team. So these wing backs are coming up the pitch. And they're not going to see much of the ball because we're going to dominate possession. Yeah, yeah, we're dominating possession all the way. Okay, Tonali, Insignia, Muriel. Nice. Okay, all right. Uh, what else can we do? Okay. Uh, now I'm getting itchy. Um, Banker. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do something that's a bit left field because I'm playing against a very defensive team, right? The overlap is gonna check their runs. Slightly. Um, half time, okay. All right. Okay. Let's see what happens. What's the difference between false line and the left on support? False line is gonna dribble more than a DLF. Yeah. False line is like a playmaking, uh, playmaking striker, with, but he's gonna dribble a lot more than a than a uh, DLF on support. Yeah, that's the main difference between the rules. He's gonna have the ball at his feet a lot, right? DLF on support just drops deep, holds on to the ball, and tries to find somebody with a pass. Yeah. Whereas F9 will drop deep, hold on to the ball, and then dribble. You know, he'll look out for opportunities. 
So look at this right now. We are attacking the channels. See that? Okay. So I'm using the overlap and underlap, right? And the, the, I'm using the overlap. It's not the wider place gonna hold up the ball. Okay. So they're holding up the ball, right? So I'm gonna run into defense even more. So now I'm gonna just this team doesn't wanna come out. So what? What? what what's wrong, right? So we're just putting more pressure on them. With the 442, because the 442 is so many options. Okay, now I'm gonna change this 442 around. Okay, this is one way of doing it. Okay, I'm gonna remove because so many bloody PIs here. Okay, all right, let's do something different. Okay, F9. Okay, so you gotta ask him to be a bit more of a creative force. Okay, so we play a winger. Okay, we're gonna do winger on attack. Uh, I'm laughing right now because this is like changing the tactic completely. I mean, I'm such. Okay, we won't play F9 here. I play F9 here because what I want is a, bit, a lot more interaction between this role. But guess what I'm going to do? ask this role to do? Advanced playmaker on a thing. Okay. So this guy is going to be a CM on defense. F9 is going to drop. Advanced playmaker is coming. Winger is coming to say. Uh, winger. Okay, winger. You come into the middle. Invert the wing back on support. Okay, you come inside here. This guy is going to go attacking this way, right? So maybe not. We'll center mid on attack. Okay. All right, center mid on attack. Winger on attack, inverted wingback comes inside here. No, we want him to be in a half space. Okay, Mazala. Mazala goes in a half space with the wing on attack. Inverted wingback comes in here. F9 comes inside here. Okay, Poacher. Not so nice now. Okay, we give you, ask you to be a pressing forward attack. So pressing forward attack puts pressure on the opposition side. Wingback going around this way. Okay, uh, wingback on attack. Uh, wingback coming inside. If I want this wingback to go here, I want this inverted winger, he's gonna dribble with the ball. No, we give him, we turn him into a winger on attack, so he becomes another goal scoring threat. Okay, this one, this guy, well, just a winger and so on. Okay, alright. Okay, now we have a different uh, setup for this tactic. This is for fun. Yeah, we, we don't know where this is going with this tactic, honestly. I just have an idea in my head, right? Masala goes this way, winger comes this way, inverted wingback comes here, right? So we get all this pressure on this side. F9 drops, right? F9 drops here, we get this bunch of players holding up the ball here, creating a wall. Then we got a winger on attack coming here, we got a pressing forward, putting pressure, right? So, what do we want from this role? We want him to be a ball playing defender, okay? So, sometimes he might play one from the bottom. Okay, now we've focus play through the middle push everybody to the center when we have the ball okay. you, i mean if you use the inverter no i'm not i i'm not gonna use i want width in my time inverter wing back is coming this side right so if i use a inverter winger and an inverter wing back then i gotta do other things as well because if not the invert what the inverter wing back and the inverter winger will do is they're gonna occupy the same zone during a transition which is what i don't want to see yeah. So, yeah, we got a goal. Yeah. Okay. If you use an inverted winger, you got to think about other things as well because they're going to be the same. They're going to end up messing about in the same spot. But I want to have Mazala and the winger working together because I want to pull defenders away. Right? So I want to create more pressure in this area in, in this area of the pitch. And they're not handling it very well. Yeah. Uh, okay. Go. That. Ah, oh, come on. Now, nah, we're playing with a bit more risk, of course. But, yeah. What's life without a bit of risk? Yeah, okay, let's see what happens. Ah, they got a shot. Oh, they got a shot, man. First shot on target. A whole game. Oh, let's go. Okay, let's see what happens next. Do -do 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 -do. Poppy power. So, your original tactic is fine, but you have to think about pushing with that tactic right you can still play a mid block but what can you do right work boy to box with the original tactic and this is just for fun because so many people ask me for what to yeah the game is over but this i mean that, that would be another variation i could try okay all right now we have the last tactic of the night yeah if you want your tactic to be featured I popped in on the stream at the start when we put up the link yeah so i want to thank everybody for sending in your tactics man today I promise a few of you right 
you, you reached out to me on Twitter. So I said, okay, fine. You know, come in. Hopefully you're here. I don't know if you're here or not. Uh, I think one of you sent me a message on Twitter. You asked for help. And I said, well, you don't have to be a patron for help. Uh, sometimes I do this on on Wednesdays. You just have to be here when I start the show. Of Naturally, I can't be here the whole night. <laughs> He's then I have problems with the kids. Uh, I, I need... My kids are looking forward to daddy time. Today, of all days. Uh, so, yeah. I wouldn't... If you had to use inverted wing bag, we inverted winger we have to be very careful yeah it doesn't always work torino right torino 442 inverted wing back oh, wow we just been my god today you guys have covered so many 442s i like a uh, inverted wing back this 442 can be a lot of fun the problem when you, when you use an inverted wing back is that you gotta attack no that's the problem you have to attack i think lazio man yeah, because if you play inverted wing back and the rest of the rules are support around him, then you're not really okay. This is good. Okay, but now okay. Why invert okay, alright, we have to play this. Okay. You got inverted wing back on defend. But he's on the defend. And but in this where he's playing, he's gonna have another role next to him, who's also holding his position. So not very good. Because they're both gonna occupy the same area during a deep when you're developing the ball you know from defense to attack so you're gonna pay attention to uh, we got, uh, we are, in this particular case we don't really have to worry about who's the who's the dlp uh we're gonna look at 2 20 and 12 right so uh 2 20 and 12 these three rows right okay. you're gonna pay attention to how they move on the pitch not when you have the ball but when you have the ball because these three roles are sometimes gonna give you issues. Okay. I mean, so far we haven't had a single transition involving our team. Zilinski trying his best. So when you're defending the ball, right, your DLP still needs tackling. But Zilinski was big on body there, so... Yeah. Oh, oh. So now you have to pay attention, now he's... We, hopefully we get a transition involving us. I don't like this, right? I don't like inverted wing on defense. And in front of him is a, another player holding his position. There's no, there's no there's no reason for that. Yeah. Okay, now you got a ball. Let's see what he does. I mean, if this is a good transition or good, oh, it's like gone long, man. Okay. Why did the keeper go long when you are playing our defense? Because he didn't have options, right? We, if you see this, and you got this, oh, you got distribute the flanks. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, that's why the keeper did what he did. But okay, we're gonna change this around because this is this is. Here is a problem. So we're gonna change this guy to his. Uh, we'll change this guy to a box to box with uh, DLP on support, and we'll change this guy to a box uh, DLP box to box. Right. So we just swap them around because now he, he doesn't hold position. See this? Hold position. And then you got another role coming in, same spot to hold the position. No point. Right. Now we got this guy moving up, and this guy moving up, and this guy coming to the center. So it's a much better, uh, there's much more synergy. Is there a way for my players to injure Immobile? I don't know, man. I wish we could. Yeah. <laughs> but we, I, I think we will be able to you know, handle Immobile if I make the changes in time. Okay, so, uh, wow. Do I have... Oh my, I got Elmas and Zielinski. There's no Tonali, there's no... Oh my goodness. We got no defensive players, man, today. Lobotka, okay, the lobotomy has to come. Okay. Uh, Elmas, Elmas, I guess we can play in Elmas. Okay, put lobot the lobotomy here. Okay, and we ask Elmas to play some box to box. Okay. Gotta take off Zilinski, can't play with him. Got Milik and Mertens, my goodness. This is a Napoli team that. 
Falei, tá no Rio, nosso Beto. Alright, so now we got. I mean. Yeah. I mean, we are playing against last year, but. So we haven't had a ball, right? So come out here. Never play a high up the pitch. Don't get stuck in, just use title marking. That's it. Um, 4 4 2 again. Um, we do mixed crosses. We're playing against a better team at the moment. Immobile, okay, whoa. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to make all these changes to the tactic before Immobile scores. Otherwise, you know where this game is hitting. <laughs> Immobile scores, we know this game. We will know the final result of this game after Immobile scores. Yeah, distribute to the flanks, no. Distribute, uh, throw it long towards them. Okay. We got using inverted wing back. We got ball playing defender. Let's try see what happens. First highlight is our highlight. We just, we're not just giving the ball away with the kick up the flanks. I mean, uh, I'm hoping that... Oh no, Lazari is true. Come on, one on one with the keeper, Lazari scores. Oh, shucks. Uh, there's so many versions of the 442 we played, but today this one, this I don't have the players. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna see white playmaker. I just, I just don't like this tactic at the moment because it's like I get what you're trying to do. You wanna score goals on this side of the pitch, right? But why? I don't get this. Why do you wanna have an inverted wing back here? When you don't have the ball, he's still going to be playing here, right? Yeah. What we'll do is ball winning midfielder, box to box midfielder. I'll play a wing back on defense. Okay. Just play a wing back on defense. I mean, you're still going to have to protect this spot, right? So this guy goes up. He got white playmaker, ball winning midfielder. At least he's gonna try and help you win the ball. Focus played on the left. No, you don't need that. You don't need overlap. Yeah. Okay. Um. And this guy tell him to play more direct. Okay. Tell you tell this guy to attack me this way. Okay. And this guy can hold this side of the pitch. Hey, okay. Hataboa. I still got a chance. I know. Hey, got highlight again. Yeah. Okay. Mm, boom. Thank you very much. So this guy is holding on to this this position. Bring back defense. Still not a decent option, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, Lazari is playing well. Go like an inverted winger should. That's what I mean. Yeah. That is so much more simpler. Hey got this guy playing this position. Bang. Got yep. So much more simpler right now. Win the second ball. Okay. Hey, you're playing with two inverted wingers. Inverted wingers, is there a way to make them appear more behind the strikers? What we are saying, like, get ahead of the strikers? You mean? To get them behind the strikers, you want them to sit narrow then. Yeah. If you want them to be inside here, these positions here, then you have to tell them to sit narrow. Yeah. Okay. Better now. Right. I don't play the inverted wing back in the center, just play a wing back on defense.
Yeah, I, I don't think I've set the goalkeeper to kick it long. Yeah, distribute the fullbacks, throw it long and counter counter press. So keeper is using his own judgment right now to to do what he's doing. Hey, Messenger told me to join you on the Wednesday one there. Oh man. Uh We start the show it. Yeah, I sh should follow my the timings because we always start the show at seven. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make one exception. Normally, I round off the show because the kids, I need to be with the kids already. So, yours will be the last stack thing, right? Okay. So, just one. Um, I'll put the link in chat for the tactic. So, you can pop the tactic in. I won't be able to do many more than that because I'm quite exhausted. The kids are going to be, they want to be with daddy. So you guys can pop in the tactics. We'll like take a quick look at the tactics. So this is one option you have with your tactic, right? Got inverter winger, you can put the de wing back on defense because the, the problem was you want to play a white play. I, mean, I don't think it's an issue playing a white playmaker here. I think it's brilliant, right? Because then you have a, this guy looking for diagonals, right? So you want him to play direct passes. They can have a the reason why we play a ball with him if you beside the what white playmaker is because we want these guys trying to win the ball high up the pitch. Right, so gives us a better be, uh, gives us better transitions as well. At least you know we can apply pressure to the opposition. I mean, you play four at the back. You got one D duty. So. Yeah, and you know, got one def got one, two defend duties. You got one more here, just now you're playing with the what inverter wing back on defend, right? So, uh, so far, okay. Kulabali is just a terrible option at this for this team. Okay, we're gonna go to key highlights. So just round that up, and I think we should be fine. Ashirbi is such a good defender. He's got he's got good passing vision decisions. I like him. He's a bit slow. Yeah, he's not very fast, but it's it's not too bad. So we don't this player is not suitable as a white playmaker postage. It's more like a fullback. And when you want to play this white playmaker, you have to remember players are gonna look for him for passes. So especially if it's on the it's on the flanks, right? So it's on the flanks here. So players are gonna look for him for the pass. So you've got one E. This guy is probably going to look for him in the pass as well. Um, yeah. We didn't do... It wasn't so bad. Yeah. But I wouldn't do it with an inverter wing back. The problem with this tactic was... It had an... Ev oh, it was first time we lost 3-1 in this... On the show, man. Uh, I wouldn't play an inverter wing back behind another like defend duty or whole position that is something that we don't do that you shouldn't do but if it's a 4 4 2 you're after that with this wide like playmakers you gotta we made one mistake we we can't use coastage coastage is not a playmaker yeah i was too tired to realize it and immobile is trying to put put me to the sword put the sword through my heart Again, every time I play Lazio, it's almost a given that we're going to lose. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go. Once again, guys, please use the Total Tactics Tester. I mean, we made it available to everybody, right? So the link is in the description of the video. You can definitely uh, go there and... Um, wait, if you can download the tactic... Okay. Uh, I assume this is you. Ezrin. I hope that's you, man. Okay, so I popped in the tactic. I hope that's you because I just put in the. I just put it in. You asked for it. I hope that's you, man. Ryan Cambridge. Yeah. I won't be. I've got about maybe another five minutes left for the show. Yeah. Because the kids have uh, been waiting. I'm supposed to be baby babysitting the kids and I'm nowhere near them at the moment. So it's not very good. 
okay copy um we covered the guys on discord first right so um wait. what am i supposed to do okay i'm supposed to put the tactic here right okay this is when I, my brain stopped making sense okay uh huh yeah okay picky Oh, it's not you, your computer updating or no. Then we are updating, then yeah, I won't be able to wait for your computer to update. Man. I mean, I'll be... Uh, it's going to be tough. We covered quite a few tactics today. Um, yeah, here we got inside for inside for F9. Okay, oh, nice. EP, ah, uh, not so nice. <laughs> uh, Everton wing back EP. Everton wing, okay, the thing about the Everton wing back is they can create chances though. You, but now you got inside four going this way. EP looking to create chances. I mean, and an F9 at the same time. It's like you got one, two buckle my shoe. This Everton wing back is also going to try and look for chances. Right. You want Tiki Taka. I don't think you want Tiki Taka, right? Your plan wasn't Tiki Taka. But this is very aggressive. But I would probably turn this into a CM on attack. AP on attack is fine as well, but overall, this if you have the players for it, I don't see a reason why this tactic can't work. Uh, here, I'll play Romy Playmaker support. Uh, I'll just do it this way. Focus me to the middle. Drop the line engagement. Work at low crosses. That's it. This is how I set up the tactic. Why do I set it up this way? Roaming playmaker sitting at the back, right? Because you, we want this to be very mobile. You got an inverted wing back on support. It's going to push up to the center. When he pushes up to the center, we want to encourage Rose to take over and just attack the space because there's somebody protecting us. Then we got a roaming playmaker. Now, roaming playmaker instead of another role. Why? Because a roaming playmaker can orchestrate attacking moves from a deeper position on the pitch, right? And he's going to move, shift with this up the pitch. Because these three roles are just going to push up the pitch instead of a defense duty. We've got an inverted wing back coming inside here so that we have the numbers in the midfield. Now, the thing is this. Why am I focusing players on the middle? I want to congest the pitch even more. Right? So, I'm, I'm asking them to focus, uh, use all these roles. And then when the F9 drops, he's also going to look for passes through the middle. Right? So, we are going to give teams quite a headache. Uh, you can actually extend the width if you want. And then you can... Tell these players, tackle harder, mark tighter. Yeah, okay, fine. But you can ask them to actually go wider. All right, start from even wider position. So now they hug the line. Okay. So now they're hugging the line. It doesn't mean that, it just means that when he has the ball, he's hugging the line. Yeah, okay? when he's hitting the ball, he's going to be near the line as well. Okay. This gives uh, the center, makes the center a bit more of an attacking threat. So, Ryan, is your computer finished updating? <laughs> I'll be there, man. I hope your computer has finished updating. So let's see how this how this tactic. So I just tweaked the tactic slightly. We're playing Liverpool against Napoli. What a time to find out. That we're playing. We already beaten Liverpool once on the stream, right? With a 4-2-3-1, which was sweet. Because that 4-2-3 was very direct. Against teams like Liverpool, you don't want to spend too much time on the ball. Right? You want to make sure that your attack's a bit more direct. Uh, you, you see all these things they were trying to do with this nice like version of this tactic where you were trying to build play up nice, nice, nicely. You know, the players with this, you're still going to struggle. I would have preferred a 4 2 3 1 against uh, your Liverpool. Kick their ass, man. From the get go, right? We kicked the, we, 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 we warp we them. We beat them for one. All right. So it goes wide as an F9. And we got the build up. There we go. Inverted we might sitting in this position. Then we got our first attack. It's not too bad actually. Yeah. Let's see what else we can do. Against any other side, uh, maybe um, weaker sides, we'll be a lot more stronger. Go, 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 go. Yeah, see, we can't, right? You can't afford to play this kind of tactics. I, yours originally had it here. 
So this is the best I can do. Don't add the offside trap. Yeah, your the team, our team isn't. <sighs> okay, the thing about offside trap is, I hate the way the offside trap works on Football Manager. Always, always have issues. Yeah. yeah, this guy goes around the camel's ass. Oh man, this is oh, too good, too good, too good. Okay, what I can do is the what I did last year, right? Mark specific player, defender. We're looking at the left back. We're looking at the right. Uh, we're on the right back, so we're telling to mark the left back. We're on the left back. We're telling to mark the right back. Okay, that's it. Get back and defend. See the two wingers inside forwards were too slow. So this is my what uh, we did the Iron Maiden strategy last uh, in FM very early in FM twenty. Was it my Iron Maiden strategy was FM twenty one right? Yeah, still works. Can still work here. There we go. Now we are marking them right. See that? Now they can't pass the ball to them. See this too. It works in Football Manager. I know there's some people who say it doesn't work, but it actually does work, okay? Because you saw what happened when we didn't use it as opposed to when we're using it now. So anybody who says it doesn't work, sorry, I disagree with you. <laughs> but this is Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> so much you can do. Okay. Okay, now they're finding a bit harder for to get the ball out. But we are playing this like, you know, we better have a good team kind of tactic. Okay, moving it quickly from one end of the pitch to the other end of the pitch. Mario Rui tries to get to Insignia. Insignia finds OC Man! OC Man shoots! Oh my goodness, we were so close to getting the equalizer. Oh man. Okay, go. So now we're marking their fullbacks. They can't get to f they can't get their fullbacks so easily. Oh, focusing play to the center. Oh man, again Zielinski. Oh, that's two man. That's two chances. Come on, boys. I can't believe I'm, cheer I'm cheering for some team to beat Liverpool. <laughs> if you've been following the channel long enough, you know, long enough, you know I'm a Liverpool fan. Oh, wow. Okay, so we saw enough. Okay, all right. So we got a zing zap. Yeah, I mean, all I wanted you guys to see was this transition with all the fullbacks. I mean, Liverpool's still a stronger team. So sad we couldn't beat them. But the 4 2 3 1 we started the show with earlier, that was actually a very good 4 2 3 1. I normally, if I wanted to be a bit more aggressive, I'd probably play that 4 2 3 1 because I can put pressure on their DM so they cannot uh, play the ball from defense. Alright, so it's like if I'm playing against a 4-3-3, my favorite formation to play against a 4-3-3 is actually the 4-2-3-1. So if somebody is playing a 4-3, the like AI is playing a 4-3-3 like this against me, I'll play a 4-2-3-1 against it. Then I don't give them a chance to play the ball out from their DM. Their DM is out of the equation because I got a AM sitting on their DM. Right? So they have to play the ball out to the fullbacks. But then if I use the man marking instructions I showed you just now. Then they can't play the ball to their fullbacks either. So they have to go and look for the central midfielders. That's when we win the ball. Yeah. Which is what we were, which is how we were playing earlier, right? So yeah. against Liverpool 4-3-3, I always prefer to play a 4-2-3 one. Except I somehow or another seem to forget that when I'm playing PvP. Against the AI it's a lot more easier. They are no days because I'm using the total tactics tester. Remember that? Yeah. 
We're using the total tactics as the which is in the description of the video below. All right, so this is all unique. It's all unique leagues with unique teams inside there, so we can test tactics out. It's not like uh, it's not like the um, it's yeah, not like a regular league because you won't be able to find yeah, in a regular league. What's the point, right? You play AC Milan, you play like three, three like sides you can easily defeat. Uh, so that's why it's here. Okay, Ryan, your three five two hammer shot. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First, I need to remember where we're going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Ryan Emerson. Nice. Okay, let's go to the tactic up. Why can't you remember where I'm going? <laughs> Ryan, where's your tactic? Oh, there we go. Emerson. Okay, there we go. Bang, bang. Boom. Phone holiday. Next match. Okay. 352. The thing about 352 is how they bought the Navy, right? Okay, so if if he's yeah, I haven't seen the tactic yet. No, we're not in the we gotta ask them to holiday indefinitely. I have to see what your tactic looks like. Okay, let's lose this. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Alright, we just did something similar. Okay, this is fine. Hey, there's nothing wrong with this tactic. Maybe I would change this to wing backs because complete wing backs they tend to roam. Masala's roam. Okay, so you kind of like you, you don't really know where they're gonna go. Okay, there are two ways of playing this kind of a setup. Okay. Thing is this, right? Masalas are gonna support any wide player. If you have a wide player, the Masalas are their best friend. Okay, because a Mazala is a role that loves to play in the half spaces. A complete wing back, on the other hand, has got room for position. Sometimes he goes to the half spaces, sometimes he doesn't, right? Sometimes he ends up coming inside, sometimes he stays wider. So, while he says run wide with ball, cross on byline, cross more offers, get further forward, stay wider, roll from position, he doesn't always do that. Okay, so he could end up inside. Now, here we've got underlap, left, underlap. Okay, you got plenty of underlaps. You basically, the wider, the, the guy on in the widest position is going to hold up the ball looking for somebody making a run inside. But these guys are not making runs inside, are they? They're making runs outside. Right? So they're going here and they're starting from the wider positions. So what they are doing is they're actually holding up the ball or they're going wide and then they're looking to give it, release it to somebody. So chances are they're going to release it to a wing back. So the problem right now is you're using an underlap. So you're not really helping the tactic out very much. If these were two, if these two were CMs on attack and these guys were positioned in these positions like uh, wingers on attack, then I would say yeah, go for the go for that uh, um, the uh, underlap instruction. Uh, or if you have like a configuration here that's got like one and two behind and you got attacking the space, then underlap makes sense because the wider player is going to look for somebody on the inside making a run to the box. So now this I will remove this. Focus play down the left and the right just shifts the team to one side. Okay. So that they support this. We're just gonna change that. Uh here, much higher defensive line. Okay. I mean we'll 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 try this out. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uncheck every we're gonna put everything back the way you did it. Okay. And we're gonna play. We're gonna see what happens. Then we're gonna have to look at the transitions themselves. Because you gotta spot the transitions and understand what I'm saying. Okay, so. So, so we're gonna come in here now bang 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 okay we're gonna play this kick off we're gonna see this on extend highlights because you need to see what i'm talking about so okay all right so we're gonna slow down the speed because you're not gonna see what i'm talking about okay um right yeah okay. we think we had bot well, good news is we're bottom maybe so it's not easy for opposition sides to find goal scoring opportunities against us okay good Ronali. So you see what has happened here, the wing backs are holding on to the ball, they're playing crosses into the area, right? Okay. Alright. See that higher defense, your higher defensive line and your line of engagement have combined to you know your prevent short go keep distribution just now. Yeah, right? All this plus the press. 
he led the press, so you're pressing inside the area when um, they're trying to play the ball out from defense. But so far, we haven't seen a single cross apart from the deep cross earlier. Okay, this is the most important time. It's the first time we've seen a highlight involving a goalkeeper. What does the goalkeeper do with the ball? Okay, we don't see the highlight. It's sad. Okay. okay, now we got another highlight. Okay, ball goes, complete wing back. These guys, well, the wider player is going to hold, check, coming, check. Okay, there. One cross. Mazala on attack, right? There's a Mazala working with the complete wing back. Okay. I would now turn this guy into a wing back on attack. And a wing back on attack. That's it. Simple. Do you have any PIs? No. Alright. Leave it. Okay. We can ask them to give us the full width of the pitch. Okay. So they go as wide as possible. Just be the widest players on the pitch. Okay. Alright. They give us the full width. Um, Here. These guys tell them to stay wider. Because as they go attacking, these guys come into these positions to protect our, to protect the spaces vacated by the ball playing defenders. Otherwise, we play the white central defender. I mean, there is a reason why they introduced the white central defender this season. Because we asked them, we asked SI to introduce that role. Um, because we didn't have anybody staying wider, right? So now they we do. We have a white central defender center back but the reason why i'm not using a white center back is because i don't want it to cross from these positions okay because uh if you use a white center back he's going to cross the ball occasionally but if you use a ball playing defender with a stay wider instruction they don't right so they're going to be a few now look where my wing back is he's much higher up the pitch okay so we get this wing backs i i want those wings this is the first highlight that's actually evolved our um wing backs right so See the ball playing defenders where they come to get the ball because we already have a dm right you got a dm so the dm is going to drop into these positions so what you really want are these ball playing defenders to actually go into the wider areas gives us a bit more width in our tactic as well and we're getting highlight after highlight you now that is what i didn't change you know, it's still you know we go we can go to the key highlights now so all the highlights now involve us so you get a much nicer flowing tactic. See where the ball playing defender has gone? He's pushed up. Right? So who's dropped in his place? This is the wing back, right? So the ball playing defender is gone. Wing back has taken over his position. Okay, fine. We'll cross the ball. Hey, you're creating all kinds of mayhem. So all you need to do in this game is actually understand how the roles work. Right? And what you can, you know, what you can how you can set up your tactics. Oh shish kebabs. Get there. Oh, that's actually not bad defending. Okay, this position, right? Do we need a ball playing defender here? You don't need one. I mean, just have a central defender on defense. That's, that's fine. So it's basically how we set the tactic up. Right? So because right now your tactic had like underlap as an underlap, it affects the initial higher positioning of the player. Okay, so we would change the role to wing back and we change this to. Now we've got underlap, underlap, right? So it does affect his initial position. It's not high up. It's going to be high up the pitch. But let's just leave it the way it is. Okay. Um, probably, I'm going to remove the underlap. I mean, it does make him a lot more aggressive, but I'm going to remove it. So he doesn't pull up the ball in transition. Oh, come on. Come on, 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 win the ball back. Thank you very much. Okay, now come. Oh, nice, lovely. Okay, go. Ah, brilliant. Masala is working with him now. They have like a good partnership now. Okay, so we don't have to depend on the wing back alone. Bang. Okay, what else can you do? You know the type marking instructions. Ah, shish. Consider the goal. Okay, these guys can be told to mark time. So they stay on the shoulder of players, right? Okay. Um. Yeah. Get stuck in is fine. Now the mark type, it only involves the wing backs. So, 
So whenever the opposition is swinging the ball from left to right, the white uh, wing backs are going to be very close to the wingers. Oh, the kids are crying. Ah, gonna, this is going to be the last one. Yeah. So I would change this to wing backs. You don't really need the overlap, underlap. You can. It can make your wing backs a lot more aggressive. You can do that as well. I mean, it can, it can be an overlap. It can be an underlap. Yeah. Overlap is actually a better option, no? Because underlap says you're looking for somebody on the inside making a run. There's nobody, right? Except for the Mazalas. Who might make a run. I'll just go overlap. They'll be positioned high up the pitch. There's nobody who can overlap him, huh? Okay, so he's just affecting his positioning. That's all. So I would, between the two, it's understanding how overlap and underlap works. Yeah. The underlap and the overlap instructions, these two instructions, what they do is they affect the positioning of the player, right? And the choices that happen. Okay. Now, if he's an overlap with this person, naturally, there's nobody overlapping him, right? So he comes up here and he holds up the ball and then he's looking for a player on the outside, but there's nobody coming, right? So what is he going to do? He's just going to keep going. Okay, fine. Play underlap. He goes up, he holds up the ball, looks like somebody making a run the inside, right? You might get it from Mazalas, but Mazalas are going to support his play. So if you do that, then what might end up happening is you might lose the ball here in transition. You can do it. It's a bit riskier. Safer options overlap. Underlap is a more risky option, which is the reason why we ask these guys to stay wider. So you want these guys to stay wider. When they stay wider, you get a lot more dying. Uh, you, like, you get a much better fight, um, tactic. Yeah. But it's understanding what these roles do. Okay. Uh, on top of that, this is fine. I mean, I would probably just drop it one shape. Right? If you want to do this, if you have a very good team, fine, do it. But I would make sure that this guy is the best defender you have. Your problem is going to be these two are always going to go for the same ball. Which is the reason why I'm willing to do this. Uh, I'll probably do this. Yeah. And then here, get stuck in. It's, it's okay. It's not a bad thing to do. But here, I'll tell this guy to mark tighter. At least get the wing backs to mark the opposition players a bit more. So that, because you're playing so aggressively, you want them on the shoulder of the wingers. So if the, they can intercept the ball. You know, sometimes you see in some of my videos, my wing backs are intercepting the ball from the wingers because I have them marking tight. And I'm playing very high up the pitch. Okay, guys. I want to thank everybody for popping on today's stream, right? I've got kids. Um, the children are actually crying. You can hear them screaming as well. So, yeah. So, I've got to go. And uh, it's. I hope I covered as many tactics as I could. And I want to thank everybody for popping in. Ryan Cambridge, I hope I managed to answer some of your questions as well. Yeah, a much higher defensive line is tantamount to suicide against Liverpool. Especially if you play with a much higher defensive line, you play the offside trap. Then you might as well just give up. You just, you know, go make coffee, come back and take the three you know, defeat because you're not going to change the result anyway, man. It's just going to happen. It's just going to happen, man. So, uh, there are certain things, certain roles that combine very well together. Wingback Mazala is extremely good. And for Ryan, your tactic is similar to something that we just had earlier on the show as well. Similar setup as well. So, we just played it differently. And I should other combinations are possible like in some games it might be better off pushing the DLP into the central midfielder slot so there are a lot of different things you can do with your tactics man so I hope you guys enjoyed today's show my kids are like you know a bit upset so I have to go uh, uh, tomorrow we will not be streaming there's a show coming out later I've got to release it I've been talking about it I haven't released it but I'll release it after this show so you guys stay safe take care of each other I'll see you again soon bye bye